Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy Matthew Shack live here in Los Angeles. Welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. I just got finished watching the Laker game overtime win against the uh, Utah Jazz and was watching some basketball, man. But I wanted to come in uh, and talk about the Raiders picking up a couple of new Patriots, man. You know, it's it, 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 that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Picking up uh, uh, Brian Hoyer who I said last week, get ready for him to come to the Raiders as soon as he was released by the Patriots and, and Danny Amendola, who's also a former Patriot, who's now going to be an assistant to the um, to the special teams. And uh, so I said, man, let me come in and see what you guys are talking about. I did do a video on it, you guys. Uh, make sure you check out the video that I posted up earlier today about... Uh, uh, these new these new patriots that are now raiders man and uh once again you know i i people don't people get mad at me or you know the haters get mad because i'm right and then i come back and say i'm right and they all oh, you're pat patting yourself on the back i'm like hey dog it, it's shit if i'm fucking getting it right i'm getting it right what the fuck don't get mad at me because i'm fucking saying shit a week before it happens and shit and that's what it is dog and you know it's like it's 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 sad. It's sad to see that people are still fucking buying into the bullshit, dog. It's like it's okay, man. It's okay. You can still be a fan of the team and fucking call the bullshit out. That's what we do over here, dog. Like all this, you're not a, a real Raider fan if you're not, man. I, I, hey, man, that's like somebody telling me I'm not a real Raider fan if I'm not sucking somebody's dick. You know what I'm saying? You you motherfuckers is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Raider fan, bro, but I'm going to fucking be the way I know I need to be, which is be critical and call out the bullshit, man. It's OK. There's nothing wrong with calling out bullshit, bro. There's nothing wrong with it, dog, unless you're not into in the position that you can't do it. If you do your job well enough at your at your job, you can go and complain about some shit. Like if your ass is doing your job and people know you're doing your job and you got respect, you can go to the to the to the management and be like, hey, there's some things around here that just ain't right. But if your ass is coming in late every day, your motherfucking ass is coming in late on fucking meetings, your ass is coming in late back from lunch, your motherfucking ass is missing assignments and shit, you leaving early. Now nobody you don't you don't get to go in the office and start bitching about nothing, dog. Okay? And that's what it is. Over here, we can complain about some shit. Haven't you noticed, man? Haven't you noticed that all these other channels, they're not they are not up in arms about shit. They're not mad. These, these motherfuckers ain't pissed off like us. They ain't putting a, putting it out there. Look at my headlines on my on my, my posts, bro. Just go look at all my shit, my lives. Go look at what I say on my regular videos. You're going to see uh, animosity. You're going to see motherfucking poking the bear and shit like what the fuck are you even on here for if you're just gonna fucking just get along with everybody fuck getting along bro if we're if we're not winning there ain't no getting along it's just that simple so for all the people that are telling me yo man uh trust the process and yo shack uh, yay yeah, man you know you, you you being a little critical and you'll give it a chance i'm not giving nothing a chance bro I'm not giving mediocre, mediocrity a chance. I'm not giving up losing a chance. Okay? I'm not giving I'm not giving none of that to these guys. Okay? These guys have to earn our respect or maybe not earn you guys' respect because a lot of uh, I'm hearing a lot of it, dog. You you got you don't understand, bro. You don't understand the amount of belly aching and crybaby shit that's going on with a lot of these fans because they're tired of it, bro. They're tired. They're willing to accept anything, bro. They're willing to just accept anything, man. Like, anything is better than what we've been doing. No, that's not true. That's not how you become a winner, bro. You don't become a winner by saying, okay, whatever you can give me. That doesn't make you a winner, bro. What makes you a winner is saying, look, man, I have standards. There's shit, certain shit I'm not going to do. Even if it's not working, I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to fucking... You know, do something strange for some change. I'm never going to motherfucking hit an old lady over the head and take her purse. I'm never going to break into somebody's house. I'm never going to motherfucking steal from my homies. I'm never, you know, there's certain fucking shit you got, standards you got to have as a human being, even when shit is going bad, because that's what makes you into who you are, bro. And right now, 
I'm seeing a whole lot of people, man. I had somebody on. You can go look on my uh, post. You can go look on my post today. I don't know who it was. Somebody said to me, I, I, you know, I don't remember their name. Luckily, I don't because I don't remember. But they said to me, how bad could it be? Maybe we need to. Maybe we need to take on the Patriot way. It's going to, you know, at least it's not what we've been doing. I'm like, dog, mm -mm. no, dog, no, dog. OK, that's not what it is, man. OK. I'm the type of motherfucker. I walk. I walk in the motherfucking uh, walk into the motherfucking uh, uh, burger spot, and I, and and I say, hey man, I want a double whopper. They say, hey man, we ain't got no whoppers. I'm like, hey man, all right, I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm not like, well, uh, damn, uh, shit. Maybe I can put two or three cheeseburgers together, and maybe that'll be a whopper. No, I came here for a whopper or whatever the fuck, or whatever burger it is. I came here for that. Y'all don't got it. I'm gonna go somewhere else, bro. Stop accepting less, man. Stop accepting less as as an alternative. OK, that's the fucking problem. OK, always some bullshit. All right. So what I'm saying is this, man. Brian Hoyer, man, just for you guys to know, just for you guys to know, if you didn't watch my video early, make sure you wipe your feet in this motherfucker and tip your bartender, dog. OK, I'll talk about all that Lakers shit. That Lakers shit was crazy, but I'm, I'm, I'm just breaking this down. You got to understand who Brian Hoyer is. We know he played for the Patriots and we know that's what it is. But do you know who he is, though? Do you know what his pedigree is? Brian Hoyer is a 37 year old quarterback that's never fucking had a starting job, bro. He's only had a starting job when somebody was hurt. He never took nobody's job. He's 37, bro. OK, for everybody that was telling me we're getting younger, we're not. OK. When the former quarterback, you know his name, when the former quarterback was was being pushed out, everybody was telling me he's 31, man. He's, he's over 30, dog. OK, what did we wind up doing? We wound up bringing in a Jimmy Garoppolo, which is who, which is which is how old the same fucking age of the former quarterback. Thirty one. Same age, bro. And paid more for him. OK, than we paid for the other quarterback. All right. So that was a lie. These lies, you guys fucking, I can keep telling you, we're not believing lies over here. You want to believe there's an Easter bunny? You want to believe in motherfucking the great pumpkin and shit? You want to motherfucking believe Santa Claus coming down the chimney? Santa Claus coming down the chimney in my house, he getting shot. There ain't no fucking coming in my house. You want to believe all that shit, dog? You want to believe in a tooth fairy? That's on you guys. Okay. And, 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 and that's what it is. All right. So Brian Hoyer, man. Here's the statistics. He's he he's a he's a journeyman quarterback at 37. So we're not getting younger, we're getting older. And in the position that matters the most, the most important position in football is the quarterback position. I don't give a fuck if we got all these rookies on, because that's what everyone's telling me. Oh, Shaq, man, we're gonna get it in the draft. We're gonna have all kinds of rookies in the draft. No, dog. We're in a division. Look at who's in our division, bro. As quarterbacks. OK, Justin Herbert is 24, bro. Justin Herbert is 24. Jimmy Garoppolo's 31. Patrick Mahomes is 28. Jimmy Garoppolo's 31. Russell Wilson is 35. Brian Hoyer's 37, bro. The average age of a Raider quarterback right now in regards to who is in the position to start and the second string guy is about 35 fucking years old, bro. Between 33 and 35, bro. That's our quarterback because Chase Garbers is going to be gone. There's not going to be four quarterbacks on our roster. There may be four or five quarterbacks in training camp, but there's not going to be four fucking quarterbacks on our roster because that's what people are telling me. Yo, Shaq, we, you know, hey, we're going to keep Garbers and we're going to get a quarterback. We don't have four positions out of 53, bro. There, 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 you, you can't find a fourth string quarterback in the National Football League. Most teams have two quarterbacks. Okay. Maybe three at the most, but they never have four. Now, if you're telling me maybe Chase Garbers gets cut and we put him on the practice squad, 
We'll see. But Chase Garbers is Chase Garbers is good. Chase Garbers is good to be where he is in his position as far as him being a third string guy. He's a good third string quarterback who never gets a shot to do anything. He ain't a starter. Let's not let's not do the Jared Stidham shit. The Jared Radham shit. Don't do that. Okay. But as a guy who can be, you know, who can be molded and and, and be groomed, possibly to move up. He, I think he has more upside than Brian Hoyer. But you got to understand what the fuck the Raiders are doing. Every time the hoodie gets rid of somebody, we pick them up. Who does that help? Okay, we're picking up people, but that helps That helps Belichick and the, and the Patriots get their roster out. It's like, man, I let this guy go. I don't have to worry about the money or anything else. If these guys still have contracts that are in, you know, you can just let them go and we can just pick them up. Or it's like, hey man, I'm just purging my list and, and the Raiders is going to swoop it up. Plus it weakens us in the AFC. It, it, it's, it's crazy to me, man, how you guys don't see this shit, bro. Don't let your love for the Raiders fuck you up, dog. Don't let, don't let the Raiders in the silver and black fucking make your brain fucking stupid. OK, always say this, bro. And I don't give a fuck if you ever hear anybody else say this shit is, you know, they stole it from me. I'm a lifetime Raider fan. I'm not a lifetime Raider fool, bro. Just because I'm a Raider fan don't make me stupid, bro. Don't make me a dumbass. Don't make me don't make me out of my out of my ass. I'm telling you straight up this shit right here, bro, is just showing me they're not trying to win, man. You know, it, it, every contract they sign, two years. Listen, bro, everybody, two years. Even Garoppolo with the three years isn't three years. It's really one with two-year options. So at the end of next year, they can let Garoppolo go. Don't get caught up in how long the contract is. Get caught up in how long the options are. The guarantees, bro. Okay? That's the key. Why in the fuck does everybody have to come from the same fucking team, bro? Like, damn near. I don't understand, man. Even the coaches is like, I I, I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. Even, even if I was, okay, even if I was Josh McDaniels and I was Dave Ziegler and I was a Patriot because they're Patriots, bro. They're not Raiders. They have not done anything being Raiders to be a Raider, okay? Even if I was to ride with them and I, I was them, why would I only pick the majority of the players from the fucking organization over there? Because we're trying to change the culture, bro. We're not. There's no more just win baby, bro. Stop saying that shit. There ain't no more just win baby. There ain't no more pride and poise. There ain't no more motherfucking uh, 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 commitment to excellence. That shit is over, bro. It's the Patriot way, bro. And they're not calling it that. What are they calling it? Tell me how many times you've heard Josh McDaniels. Josh McDaniels has been your head coach for 17 fucking games. See, this is what you guys ain't thinking. He's been your head coach for 17 games. Get these likes up, man. I'll get the fuck out of here, bro. I don't have to be on here talking to you guys. I already talked about this earlier. He's had 17 games to say just win, baby. He's had 17 games to say something to let us know that he's with us. But all he does is fucking sit there and talk about how he's going to teach us how to do some shit. He, he never fucking says anything that's us, bro. He never, you know, if you go to a company, you, you, you're going to say the company slogans and shit. If your ass is from Burger, if your ass is from Burger King and you go to McDonald's, you're going to say, have it your way. You know, you're going to say something that's McDonald's. We do it all for you or whatever the fuck. I'm loving it. You, you're going to say something. This cat never fucking says no Raiders shit. He never says nothing Raiders, bro. Never, bro. Never. Tell me when you've heard him in any press conference that you've been on, while you've been streaming, any fucking post game, any interview. When has he ever said anything that talks about us, bro? He did when he first got the job. But he hasn't said nothing since. He's not interested in our history. He's not interested in our culture. He's not interested in any of that. What he's interested in is, is, is motherfucking keeping his job 
by fucking shit up. So he has to clean it up, bro. That's what it is, man. That's what it is. You really don't want to motherfucking do something at work. You tell your boss, hey, well, you know, I'm swamped. You're not swamped, motherfucker. You're just fucking dragging your feet. All you got to do is, is put sin on the report and your shit is done. But you're going to fucking milk that shit because you really don't feel like doing it. You know, it's like, hey, well, you know, hey, I, you know, I, got, I got some other shit. I, you know, I got to, you know, I got to tighten some shit up or, you know, hey, man, the presentation isn't all the way ready. That presentation's done, dog. You just bullshitting. You fucking around. OK, he hasn't said nothing Raider related, as my boy D. Bernie said. Nothing. I've noticed. I've noticed, bro. At least come in and pretend you like us. Does he even like the Raider Nation? I don't think he even likes Raider Nation, to be honest. He's never even addressed us as a fan base. Okay? He's never even said, Raider Nation, I know you guys are impatient, but Jimmy G came in and said that shit. But shit. Jimmy G is, Jimmy G is not the coach. This guy has said nothing to us, bro. He never mentions us as a fan base at all. He never mentions us, man. Oh, and the fact he had the Raider logo up that upside down for a whole quarter, bro. That was ridiculous. Okay? There's no excuse for that. There's nobody even on the, the coaching staff or the players didn't say, hey, coach, you know how it is as men, you know, those of us who, who, who act like men on here. A real motherfucker will tell another real motherfucker, yo, dog. Oh, shit. How many times have you fucking had on somebody you didn't know tell you zip your shit up? That ain't that ain't that ain't. You know, that's not alternative lifestyle shit. That's a motherfucker saying, hey, dog, I, I respect the fact that I'm a man and I'd want somebody to tell me that's what it is. If somebody's walking and they fly open and you say, yo, dog, you're doing that. At least I do that because I would want somebody to tell me, bro. Okay. Have you ever been around motherfuckers who won't tell you shit? Like, like you got a motherfucking uh, shit on the side of your mouth and shit. They won't tell you nothing, bro. They're like, hey, man, this motherfucker, this motherfucker got some fucking uh, uh, mayonnaise. And ain't nothing worse than having some mayonnaise over here. Nothing. It could be mustard, ketchup, some other shit, uh, aioli. But you have some mayo and the shit's dried up or you got a booger in your nose. Ain't nobody told you or your flyers open and shit or your or, or, or your elbows is ashy. See that type of shit. Motherfuckers. Mm -mm. Hey, dog, this motherfucker, man, man, I'm telling you, dog, we I, I remember seeing I remember seeing especially in high school. You really motherfucker came out the bathroom and, and had the whole toilet paper out the back of his pants. was just walking with toilet. We really didn't tell that motherfucker nothing, dog. We let his ass walk down the motherfucker into the next class. That motherfucker had toilet paper and he was like, he didn't even know why, bro. It's like that motherfucker, that shit was stuck to his ass, bro. And he he pulled his pants up and that shit, he was fucking dragging it. We was we was crying. Okay? A real motherfucker would have told him, hey dog, hey dog, hey, 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 man, don't go out there like that, hot partner, man. Hey man, you got the toilet paper shit, dog. Fix that shit. This motherfucker doesn't even address you as a fan base, bro. He don't even address you, man, at all. You don't mean shit to him. Okay? Mean nothing to him. All right? And that's what it is, bro. But hey, man. Over here, I told you guys last week he was coming. I tell every quarterback we get, I tell you he's coming. I told you Garoppolo was coming two days before he came. I told you Hoyer was coming four or five days before he came. That's what it is, bro. That's what it is. And as far as all you guys that are camping on Anthony Richardson, I just saw ESPN today, bro. Anthony Richardson is now a top five pick. Now, if you're not, if Raiders don't move up, we're not getting Anthony Richardson, bro. Barring that somebody's not going to do what they say they're going to do. Okay. Got to trade up to get Anthony Richardson. Anthony Richardson is a hot commodity now. It, it, it ain't, he ain't no just a, he going to be there at seven. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you guys, man. Do not be surprised we don't get Anthony Richardson. And then you guys are trying to figure shit out. And even Hendon Hooker, a lot of you guys would tell me, what do you think about Hendon Hooker? And on ESPN today, they said the same shit. Hendon Hooker might make the be a first rounder now. He might go in the first round in the later picks. He might not be there. Okay? I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying to all the Anthony Richardson AR-15 jugglers, you guys are juggling nuts. I'm just being honest with you. A lot of people tell me, Shaq, we got to get Anthony Richardson. Okay, but he's not going to be there if the Raiders don't do something, bro. And as far as Lamar Jackson, big time Willie, guess who is in the hunt to trade for Lamar Jackson? It will not be the Raiders. It is the Indianapolis Colts, bro. The Indianapolis Colts are in the mix to try to get them Lamar Jackson now. You know why? Because they have like the fourth pick in the draft, fourth or fifth pick. Trade that to the Ravens. Let the Ravens get another quarterback. We, I'm just, I'm just, don't put your hopes into these guys, man. They, they've they already had a draft. Don't act like this is the first time Josh and Dave have a, have a draft. This isn't the first time. They've had drafts before. What did they do? They drafted a whole bunch of fucking running backs when you had a whole Josh Jacobs. Wasted all those draft picks on all those fucking running backs and shit. Okay? Just being honest. So, Brian Hoyer, his statistics. I think he, he has a he has a less than 500 record. I think he's thrown 25 tu 24 touchdowns in the NFL in, in his 14 career. He's been in the league 14 years, bro. You sign a fucking quarterback that's been in the league longer than anybody in the, He's been in the league longer than fucking Russell Wilson's been in the league. 14 years. This dude is 37, bro. A lot of you motherfuckers ain't here. I ain't even 37, dog. Okay. That's number one. His passer percentage, 59%. That sucks. That sucks, bro. If you're not in the fucking 65 to 70% range, you ain't shit. 59%. Okay. 24 touchdowns and doesn't have a lot of starts. He's been Tom Brady's backup. He was with the Patriots three times. The last uh he was he was Tom Brady's backup when they won against uh against the Rams in 27 20, 2007. He knows the system. He's gonna come in there, he's not gonna do shit. Okay? Just trying to let you guys know. All you guys that are talking about, man, hey man, the former quarterback don't run. He don't do. Jimmy Garoppolo ain't running nowhere, man. He ain't no athlete. Jimmy Garoppolo ain't running nowhere, bro. That pocket collapses, he's going to fall right on the ground. You're going to find out real quick. And Brian Hoyer ain't running nowhere. Okay? Ain't running nowhere, dog. The only thing they're going to do is, is, is run to the next down. Okay? It was motherfucking second and 10. Now it's second and seven, third and 17. That's what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. So we got that. Now the An Danny Amendola shit. I like the Andy Dan uh, uh, Danny Amendola. I'm gonna talk shit about it, but the Andy uh, I keep calling him Andy Danny Amendola. He was a good special teams player, man. He can help the special team. Our special teams didn't do shit, dog. Like we didn't have a lot of activity in special teams, man. We we you know as far as re uh, um kicking um. Uh, uh, the kicking receiving game from the kickoffs and as far as the um, punt returns, we, we, you know, we, we, we didn't have that much cracking, bro. You know, it's not even really a matter of running things back. It's a matter of having a nice uh, um, per average. And we didn't really have a nice per average. I think we might have averaged like 12, 11 or some shit like that. We were in double, fi you know, double figures in yardage and, and punt returns, but we weren't. You look at the lead leaguers, you know, it wasn't like 18, averaging 18 or averaging 17 or some shit. It was like averaging like 11.6 or some shit. I think Danny Amendola is going to help in regards to that, dog. OK, but you got to remember every time you bring over a former Patriot, that means a Raider is losing his job. OK, you, you know, you only got certain cert, certain amount of positions. So that's the key, bro. Be prepared. I'm just trying to understand why everybody that's a, jo a Josh McDaniels uh, 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 pick has to be somebody that played for the fucking Patriots. Why, bro? Why Why can't you get some people from some other teams? When, we, when we're telling each other, yo, man, we should get this guy. Yo, man, we should get that guy. Yo, man, we should get that guy. That doesn't work. Because if they don't have the history of playing for the team that was that's in Boston, Massachusetts, then it doesn't. They're not going to come, bro. Okay? That's what I'm saying. And now I'm hearing about Wes Welker, bro. 
I'm hearing Wes Walker's probably gonna come, though. I'm like, fuck. I mean, shit. There's other people that played football, bro. There's other coaches. There's other people. What? Nah, man. Nah, dog. Nah, man. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make that shit the way it is, bro. Okay. So that's what it is, man. Once again, you guys, like I said, man, there's nothing that this regime can do for me except win me a fucking Lombardi, bro. For everybody that's telling me, yo, man, what if, what if, what if, hey, man, what if, dog shit? What if they don't? Your what if it if we ball and win a Super Bowl is is no more valuable than my than my what if, what if we don't? There's no guarantee if we had a perfect team we were going to win, bro. There's too many... Things that can happen during the season. It would be crazy. I, hey, we win a Super Bowl. All bets is off, bro. That's what you got to do. All bets is off, bro. That, that's just like you saying, hey, man, if I win this lottery, man, I'm quitting this job. You're not quitting your job no other way. You're not quitting your job if you if, if you wake up the next day. You're not quitting your job if the girl that's never, at, never fucked with you decided to come and fuck with you the night before. You're not motherfucking giving up nothing. You're not giving up your job unless you win the lottery. That's what it would be, bro. It would be a Powerball winning ticket for, for us to win with this regime next year in the death star we we might as well buy a powerball ticket but if we win we're not going to give a fuck who's going to say yo dog i thought you said that uh uh only idiots uh buy powerball tickets man now so what you got to say now i got to say motherfucker i won the fucking two billion dollar powerball motherfucker i don't got the motherfucking build feel bad See, because when you when 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 the what if happens, people want you to feel bad that you were on the other side. But if it didn't happen, would you feel bad that you fucking jumped off the cliff? I'm not off the cliff. I'm safe. You're jumping off the cliff, taking a chance. I'm standing on the cliff. And then the next thing you know, uh, 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 they build a bridge while your ass is falling down the cliff and they build a bridge and I walk across it and you fucking hit the ground and you fucked up like Wiley e. Coyote and then you walk over and you climb up and then you come over, beat the fuck up looking like you just fell on 80 rocks. Talking about, you shaggy. Hey, what do you got to say now, man? What do you got to say now? I got to say I walked across the fucking bridge, dumbass, and your ass fell down there. You had to climb all the way up. You look at you all scratched up, bleeding and shit, pus coming out your nose and shit. Look at me, dog. I ain't dirty. I didn't fall. All I did was wait for these motherfuckers to build the bridge. I crossed the motherfucker and I was here before you. That's it. I'm not going to feel bad if the Raiders do good. I'm going to feel great. Okay. But uh, if they don't. See, you're not going to keep the same energy, bro. If you're wrong, you're not going to fucking do what I'll do. See, I'm on the right side because if we fucking do everything that I want to happen that that I'm that I don't think is gonna happen, I benefit. If your monkey ass fucking jumps off the cliff saying that we're gonna do this and that and we don't, you're not gonna keep that same energy, bro. You're gonna fucking buy into the next season. You're gonna buy into next year. Oh well, you know it's only year two. That's what I heard at the heard this year. Hey man, what the fuck happened? We didn't make the playoffs. Oh, man, come on, Shaq, man. It's a process. Ain't no fucking process, motherfucker. Was it a process when we had the old quarterback you couldn't stand and we had all this other shit? No, your ass was fed up. Now you want to be patient. We're not doing that, bro. Fuck that. I'm not. Now, 17 games later. Oh, Shaq, man, you know, man, you got you to gotta let it, it marinate, man. You got to let the. I ain't got to let shit. That's you. Like I said, bro. Like I said, I, I don't I don't motherfucking me me taking that consolation prize don't work for me. OK. I need what was delivered. I need what was fucking said. I need what was fucking advertised. OK. Fuck all of that. If I'm if I'm going down to go buy me a motherfucking Hellcat. And you, I get there, and you tell me, hey, man, all the Hellcats is gone, man, but we got these motherfucking, uh, we got these uh, uh, m m motherfucking Yugos and shit. Hey, you can get you a Yugo. I'm not going to be like, well, you know, man, why not get a Yugo? I mean, shit, it is, it does drive, and it's reliable and shit. And motherfucker, I didn't come here for a fucking Yugo. I came here for a fucking Hellcat. Fuck you talking about? Well, shit, you know what? There's another Dodge dealer on the other side of town. Peace. I holla at you, bro. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Nah, dog. You, you ain't got no. I'm, I'm not here to motherfucking look at no other cars. I'm not here to look at no Dodge Durangos. I'm not here to look at no motherfucking Jeep Ram trucks. I'm here to, for the fucking Hellcat, nigga. Fucking Hemi 8, 88. 
That's it. I'm not here for nothing else, bro. Fully loaded and shit. With rims and all that shit. With the system. With the fucking moonroof. I'm not here for nothing else. But you guys, you guys will motherfucking consider. Oh, maybe I'll just test drive it. Nah, not me, bro. I didn't come here for that. Mm -mm. No, dog. No. I came here for the brisket. Y'all got brisket? We got a brisket. Hey, man, but we got the best chicken in town. I didn't come here for chicken, bro. Came for the brisket, bro. Now nah, you going to hook a nigga up with some chicken? Nah, we're not going to give you no chicken. All right, well, shit, I'm not paying for no chicken, dog. I'm going to go to the next spot, find me some brisket. That's what I came here for, bro. Like, you get what you fucking negotiate in life, bro. You get what you accept. Okay? You got to stop accepting bullshit, man. You got to stop accepting fucking excuses. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, bro. I don't have to, man. I don't have to. I'm cocky. I'm arrogant. And I'm sitting on fucking three rings as a fan of the Raiders. I fucking grew up with three rings. I have three Super Bowls. That's what it is. I don't have to motherfucking kiss nobody's ass. I don't have to fucking buy into the bullshit. You have to bring me a Lombardi, dog. I'm not going to believe shit. Until at the end of the fucking Super Bowl, it says we are the world champions, dog. Not a minute before that. We got to get the fucking ring. We will get no ring, dog. Ain't nothing to talk about. You just another motherfucker selling a dream. That's, that, that, that's, that, that's what pimps do. Pimps fucking sell dreams to hoes and shit. Yo, baby, you know, if you was with me, man, we can have the world, baby. Get out here on these blocks and motherfucking jump in and out of these cars and shit and uh, gar gargle with this motherfucking Listerine when you're done. And, uh, you know, we can, you know, shit, we can rule the world. Y'all motherfuckers is fucking putting on the high heels and shit and the bad makeup and the motherfucking uh, feather bowl and shit jumping in and out of cars. Not me. I sell dreams. I don't buy dreams, bruh. You got to show me, man. You can't walk up to me and hustle with me, dog. You can't hustle a hustler. Like, dog, I already know the game. You know what I'm saying? You ain't hustling me. All you can do is one thing. I'm only asking for one thing. There's only one thing you can do. There's nothing you can do. There's no player you can bring over that's going to change me. Even if we get Lamar Jackson, I'm still, I'm still not. It don't even matter, bro. Tom Brady could change his mind and come back. None of that means nothing to me, bro. I don't believe shit from these guys. These guys get no fucking respect from me at all. They done lied to me from day one, told me this, lied, told me that, lied, got rid of people, did all this bullshit, got rid of motherfuckers because they couldn't get invited to weddings and shit. Hey, dog, I don't got time for that. End of the day, I'm with the shield. I ain't changing. I ain't going nowhere. Can't nobody make me leave. Can't nobody make me stop talking. Can't nobody keep motherfucking me dragging them. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to, dog, because I've been here for fucking almost 50 years. Next year will be 50 years for me. Can't nobody tell me that's a half a fucking century. You motherfuckers can't tell me shit. Nobody can tell me a fucking thing, okay? I'm not listening to nobody. If you're not fucking just respecting what the fuck I'm saying or leaving me the fuck alone, fuck all y'all, dog. I don't give a fuck. Eat a dick. I don't give a shit, okay? But the bottom line is, hey, man, this shit here, I'm not, I'm not motherfucking co-signing nothing, bro. I'm going to sit back and chill and see how it goes, bro. And that's it. All right, let me read you guys' questions and see what you guys are talking about. But, hey, man, make sure you check that video out from earlier, dog. I done put up some good videos for you guys, man. You guys need to be supporting the fucking videos on this channel, dog. Don't just wait for me to come on and talk live all the time, shit. Okay? I put up some good videos. I talked about that damn uh, uh, Caitlin Clark and uh, um, Angel, a a Angel uh, uh, um, what was her name, uh, 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 from LSU, dog. I talked about that shit. I don't know what her last name was. Whatever. But I talked about that. I talked about a bunch of shit, man. Get on it. Raw Rudy Rango, what's up? Triple R, D. Bernie, what's going on, D. Bernie? Uh, Ruben Nava, what it do? Bryant, what up, Shaq? What do you think about the Raiders hiring Amendola as coach? Hey, dog, I don't have a problem with Amendola as a coach because he's not, it's not a significant hire. He's an assistant to the special teams coach. Okay? He's an assistant. He's going to come there and he's going to do what? He's going to assist. He's coming in. To assist, like I said, in his prime, he was a pretty good special teams guy. Special teams is, they're like, like I always try to say, you guys got to know the factions of football. It's offense, defense, and special teams are the three factions of football. Special teams is the one that is least, least respected, but the one that you fucking 
have to count on in certain situations, man. If your motherfucking shit ain't tight and it's down to a field goal to win, and you like, I know for a fact Daniel Carson's gonna fucking hit that shit. Nine times out of ten, ain't no human perfect. Nine times out of ten, he's gonna fucking nail that shit. Okay? I know that. I trust the fact he'll do that. Now we got this new long snapper. I don't know what why, why are you fucking with that, dog? Why are you fucking getting rid of the fucking connection that we need? See, I'm saying all that sabotage type shit. So Danny Amendola is somebody who I can say what he knows will benefit the, the, the punt returners and kick returners on our team. What he knows will benefit them. Will it show on the field? I can't say. But I don't have a problem with it because I respect his knowledge and his pedigree of what I've seen him do himself. If he can pass along some, some tips that's going to help these guys get a couple of extra yards, that helps us on what? Field position. So I'm with that. I don't have a problem with it. Plus, he's not in charge. I'm just going to talk shit because it's a patriot. There's other people you could have got. Shit. Go get Devin Hester. If you really want a motherfucker to teach somebody how to kick return the football, go get Devin Hester. He's the greatest kick returner in the history of the game. Like I said, bro. Like I said, man. Like, it is what it is, dog. William Boozers, man. Scotty Waddy. What's going on, big dog? Deshaun Jones. Let's go, Lakers. That was a good-ass win tonight, Deshaun. But, hey, man, giving up 10 unanswered with a minute and 24 seconds left. The Lakers, man, them, them motherfuckers, dog, they, just, they, they, they got lazy. They took their foot all the way off the gas. They thought they had that shit in a bag. That's not going to work, man. It's not going to fucking work. They're playing the Clippers tomorrow, and they better get their shit together, dog. The Lakers can't, can't be fucking around. We got to play the Clippers, and then we got to play the fucking Suns, and then we got to play Utah again. Come on, dog. We, got, we can't be bullshitting, man. We got to run the table. Okay. Uh, Aisha, what's going on, Aisha? Hey, what's up, Aisha? Where you been, girl? Dallas Cowboys, what's going on, big dog? <laughs> Carlos Sanchez. He said, them guys aren't any good. Now, they ain't, they, they, you know, it is what it is, dog. But, hey, they're not there because they're good. Okay. John Jones, smash that like button. Yeah, you guys ain't doing a good job tonight, man. I'm going to be getting off of this motherfucker, dog. I'm going I'm to I'm go get me an alcoholic beverage, and I'm going to flip these channels, bro. Find me something to watch, man, because you guys ain't here handling business. Raider for life, man. What's good, bro? New England Raiders. Shit. Hey, Mark Davis said, don't call him that, dog. Hey, man, we're not Patriot West, bro. I don't know where you guys are getting that from. Like I said, man, it's just, it's just getting crazy to me, bro. Aisha said, speak that truth. Hope all is well. Everything's wonderful, Aisha. I hope everything's good with you. Sis, what's up, Bev? What's up, sis? What's up, sis? I hope everything's good. You know I love you, sis. I didn't forget about baby. I gotta, I keep fucking gotta handle business with her. I gotta send her her motherfucking money, dog. My niece needs her money, dog. I gotta send my niece some money, dog. Uh, Raider for life, man. Hey, you can't criticize anybody that you can't support. You, no, nah, dog, these motherfuckers are on me, dog. They on me, dog. They tell me, told, I had somebody on Facebook say, this is the most white. They call it, this guy told me, said, not told me, but he was on my post. He said, this guy's the most whiniest Raider fan of all the content creators. I'm like, I didn't even answer. I'm like, motherfucker, how am I fucking whiny when I'm right? I'm not whiny at all. You're whiny. You're whiny because you mad because I'm fucking right all the fucking time. Fuck you talking about? Slap the shit out of your ass, dog. Booty bank. Josh Jacobs, Max Crosby, and Devontae Adams should all leave the team and join the Saints. <sighs> hey, man, just let Josh McDaniels crash and burn, bro. I wouldn't be leaving, dog. And like, man, let, let's let it happen, dog. Let it happen. We're going to see, man. He's got to win some games, man. He's going to get to the point where he's going to have to win. They're like, all this motherfucking posturing and shit, you got to win, bro. When the game starts and season starts, it ain't none of this shit going to matter, dog. If you ain't winning, that's your ass. Uh, Raiders only says you and Wi-Fi Willie keep it. Hey, man, I hear a lot of good things about Wi-Fi Willie, bro. I hear a lot of good things about that cat, man. A lot of good things about that guy. Uh, Turbo Durant said, what's going on, Turb? Turbo says, wow, the Las Vegas Patriots now. Yikes. It crazy. I used to say facts. Raiders for life. It's like this, bro. I understand where you're coming from. From going on 43 years, it's not promised like every year, but they waste our time and energy being Raider fans. It's very frustrating. It's, it, 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 it is very frustrating, dog. You know? Like I said, man, I you know, one thing about me is I'm gonna be transparent, dog. If I was younger, I wouldn't I probably wouldn't be a Raider fan, dog. You know? Cause you know, I'm from the Bay Area, man. And for the last in the Bay Area and for the last 40 years, the 49ers have been the team in the Bay that's been winning. They won five championships in 40 years. Okay. The Raiders won the last one in 80, and then we moved to, to LA. 
and came back in 95. So when the Raiders came back in 95, back from L.A. for being gone 13 years, San Francisco 49ers had won five Super Bowls from the time the Raiders left in 1983 and came back in 1995. That's that that that's that's 12 years. Niners won five fucking Super Bowls in 12 years, bro. If I was younger, I probably would like the Niners. But due to the fact that I'm not, and when I grew up, the Raiders were the shit. Makes sense. So just imagine how I would feel if I was you guys. You guys really have fucking suffered, bro. You've never seen the Raiders do nothing. You've only seen them been, win one Super Bowl and win one division, one uh, 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 AFC title in your entire life, bro. One, 2002. Okay. Conference. I said not not division title. We won a few. Conference. You've only seen the Raiders win one fucking conference title, AFC Championship game once, and go to a Super Bowl once. That's it in your entire life. You every other season you've seen nothing. Okay. So I understand why you guys are frustrated. For me, somebody who's been a long time, I just put my love into the shield, bro. I put my love into the team. I don't put my love into the owner and I don't put my love into the coaches and definitely not the fucking players because that's what you guys use to love the Raiders. A lot of you guys use the players to love the team because when a player leaves, you guys get all butthurt or you're fucking super too happy. You're, you're too happy when a player you don't like leaves and you're too fucking sad when a player you love leaves. You're not balanced. You don't you're 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 you're, you're up and down. DC leaves, you're fucking uh, uh cabbage patching butt naked on fire on the fucking freeway and shit. Yeah, man, he's gone. Fucking Khalil Mack leaves. Man, we should have never got Khalil Mack. We should have never let go of Mari Cooper. You guys are fucking you guys are unstable. You're not stable, bro. You're way up here and you're way down here. Over players. I'm not I'm never, I'm never gonna do that, bro. I'm gonna always think about fucking the Raiders. I'm a Raider, bro. I'm not a motherfucking hey, who pick people come and go, bro. People come and go. It's like when you're single, man, relationships. How you know how I dealt with it? You know how I got to my wife? Everybody that I fucked with or dated or was involved or just fucking around with, dog. They all they they all had a motherfucking expiration date, dog. And that expiration date was on them. Soon as they started, hey man, this shit's starting to get a little foul. I'm out. I'm gone. You don't got no ties to a nigga. You ain't got no motherfucking ring. You ain't got no motherfucking babies by a nigga. You ain't got no, we ain't got no apartment. We ain't got no motherfucking uh, fucking phone plans and shit. We don't got no motherfucking credit cards together, ho. We don't got shit. When you start fucking acting like it's time for me to go, mm, 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 uh, uh, I'm out. And I just kept doing that shit, dog. Leave. On to the next. I'm dating up. Leave. Uh, dating up. I'm going this way. Okay, I, I'm not fucking camping out on nobody. Can't nobody claim a motherfucker dog, period. Until I met the one I needed to be with. Then it's like, er, okay, man, shit, let me get around all these hoes. Right, hey, man, shit, stop returning phone calls, texts and shit. Start fucking cleaning my life up and shit. Boom, got with her, boom, da 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 Bam, married, boom, son, boom, that's it. Fuck everybody, that's it. See all the ones on Facebook that thought they was too good or thought that they was cracking, they looking raggedy. They looking flabby and sick. They motherfucking got babies by niggas that I know got other babies with other hoes. They fucked up fucking around. They had a chance to be with a king and now they're down. They're fucked up. And that's what I do with the Raiders, bro. There's no fucking player that played for the Raiders that I love more than the Raiders. No player, bro. I love I love all these motherfuckers, but they, there's no player that I love more than the team, bro. I love the team more than I love any fucking player that ever played for the Raiders, bro. Okay, period, period. That's what it is. OK, so that's how I get through it. I'm like, hey, man, you know what? Shit. What can I do? I've been here all this time. I've seen all these raggedy coaches. I've seen all these raggedy quarterbacks. I've seen fucking we played in three stadiums. Uh, uh, shit. What the fuck am I supposed to do? bro? I'm just going to fucking just wait it out, bro. One day the Raiders are going to be the champions and shit. I'm just going to wait it out. I'm not going to motherfucking get emotional. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to fight motherfuckers in the street and shit. I'm not going to get on fucking uh, Facebook and Twitter and argue with strangers and fucking. I'm not doing all that bullshit, bro. I'm not doing all that bullshit, though. Okay. Uh, 
Ophic Raider Reef, they don't remember the glory days. Maybe they went around. We went to the mountaintop. Maybe they weren't, bro. And that's what I'm saying. I, I was around, bro. I was around, though. Okay? Like I said, every fucking Super Bowl that we won, I watched, bro. I watched. Scared we were not going to win. Sitting there, watching it with my dad, scared. Fuck. Are we going to fucking win against the Vikings? Yeah. Went to school the next day, talking shit. Damn, are we going to win against the fucking Eagles? The Eagles beat our ass early in the season. Damn, everyone says we're not going to win. We were the first wild card team. We got into the Super Bowl with a wild card. The first wild card team to ever win a Super Bowl was the 1980 fucking Raiders. With Jim Plunkett, Tom Flores and all them. We, we didn't have a chance. Man, I'm sitting there saying, damn, man, the Eagles beat our ass earlier in the year. What happened? Psh, wasn't that shit. Went to school, talked shit to everybody. Then finally, the motherfucking 83 Super Bowl against the Redskins. The Redskins fucked us up the year. Fucked us up early in the year, dog. I think they beat us by 30, bro. Shit. Everybody said John Riggins and motherfucking Joe, Joe Theismann and, 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 and the fun bunch and all those motherfuckers was going to fuck us up. Art Monk and all them niggas. Riggins. Guess what? We beat them 38 to 9, bro. They didn't even get in double figures. We beat them motherfuckers by 28 fucking points. Okay. Whatever how much nine is. 31. Okay. Or 29. Whatever the fuck. Went to school. Talk shit again. Hey, man. Shit. I'm good. We don't have to win no more, dog. I'm straight. D. Bernie. Lakers by the skin of the teeth. Dog. The Lakers was mother. I'm like, what the fuck, man? When, 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 um, when, um, when Rivers, um, uh, Rivers. I'm kidding. Austin Rivers. Austin Reeves. When Reeves hit that three, bro, I'm like, oh, this is done. Nah, dog. These motherfuckers started not playing defense, bro. They let Kelly Olenek make a, a straight on backboard three. And they was just, they took 10 points in a minute, bro. They, they were 10 nothing run, bro. 10 nothing run. And then LeBron missed a bunny layup and shit. Something that he would have made. I'm like, dog, you guys blow this shit, man. You guys, because the Pelicans lost. Like, come on, dog. Come on, man, shit. They they got it done in 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 uh uh but the but Utah was like hey man we're we're playing hard bro and I don't the uh, Horton Tucker is looking like damn maybe we shouldn't have traded him but you know Horton, Horton Tucker wasn't playing like that when he was playing for us dog okay uh Turbo uh, Taran said it's terrible being a Raiders fan right now if 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 you man if you ain't man or woman enough to deal with the heat man you gotta take off the take off the fucking uh take the shield off dog. Say being a fan of the Raiders ain't for ain't for fucking soft, soft ass people, dog. It, it's not. It's, we're not a fan base, a team that that you love because we win all the time. You know how people fucking get used to being with a team that wins all the time and shit. And then when they don't win, they don't know how to handle it. And we don't have that problem. Like you're here because you, you love the Raiders or you're supposed to love the Raiders. If you don't, you, you, you're going to put yourself through uh, misery. OK, to, uh, Carlos Sanchez. Uh, Brian says, for real, you ain't lying, bro. Never do, uh, talking to Turbo. Uh, yeah, Dave Salsuna, Sean talking to Turbo. Uh, so, so sooner. Wiping my feet in Phoenix. The son's putting away the Spurs up by 20. Man, I'm, I'm worried about you guys, Dave. I'm worried about you guys, man. Now Durant's back. Not, not fuck, dog. Fuck, man. It's going to be a problem, man. Ophic uh, Reefer Bum said, Hoyer's a bum. Getting a two-year deal. Getting a big-ass bag, man. Okay. Brian said, yo, Chef, does this mean the Raiders ain't drafting a quarterback? Uh, I didn't say that. I'm just saying that right now we have three quarterbacks on the roster. You don't have four quarterbacks on the roster, bro. If you draft, if we draft a quarterback that's not in the first or second round, then it could, it's possible that Garbers can stay. But if if uh, if uh, uh, we draft a quarterback in the first round, somebody's, you know, somebody's got to go and it's going to be one of them cats has got to go. God. Uh, Carl says, we're a hand down from the hoodie. I hear you. Turbo says, I can't believe my co-workers are still talking smack. They were saying Josh McDowell is doing the new Patriots is my team now. Hey, man, you got to deal with the bullshit, bro. You pick the Raiders as you're a fan of the Raiders. That's what it is. Booty Banks, Josh McDowell is going to be Belichick 2.0. Most likely. Uh, Turbo Durant, I'm against Josh McDowell the Patriots way. That's just me. me. Booty Banks said the rest of the division is laughing of it, at us. They've been laughing at us, man. Been laughing at us. I just saw today on ESPN that uh, your boy uh, Justin Herbert is uh, they're working on a long-term extension for Justin Herbert right now, bro. Justin Herbert ain't going nowhere. All right. Big time Willie says it's happening to the Raiders right now. We go to six and after uh, uh, upgrading a playoff team. He didn't care about us, dog. He don't give a fuck about us. Tubba Durant. 
Said Raiders are screwed. Kyler said Bella check the hoodie. Turbo says funny how Raiders streams think Josh McDaniels is doing good. Hey man, like I said, man, people are desperate, bro. Like I said, dog. Hey man, sometimes man, you buy a dream, dog. Like I say, hey, you know, some 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 people are gonna buy into the bullshit, bro. Some people are gonna some people are gonna really take that chance of shit. Some people think they Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz and shit. Now, I know better. Booty Bang says we're going 0 and 17. Shit. Brian says I'm already done with McDaniel's. I didn't want him in the first place. Turbo said I can't wait for this nightmare is over. We are gonna find out. Brian agreeing with Turbo. TRW. Be dirty. He's the Andy Dallin uh, Amendola coach's assistant. That's why he's a coach's assistant. I, I, I'm not mad at, mad at that. Justin Saab. McDaniels sucks. Turbo tried to say the Raiders need to do bad to fire McDaniels. Can't stand McDaniels. Kylan. Um, Justin Saab said he's only with us for the money. And not, not that and the sabotage and go back to his daddy. D. Bernie says he hasn't said anything Raider related since he became a Raider. Nothing. Not a word. All he does is talk about himself and talk about what he's going to do. Uh, Henry Newsom. So I'll post that Mac Jones could join the Raiders. Anything could fucking happen, dog. If you, as long as he's a patriot, anything can happen, dog. Okay. Uh, Tony Copeland, McGarbage and crew are making clowns of the Raider fans. Mark, Mark Davis is helping. Mark Davis is over there at the strip club with Mark, with uh, with uh, Tom Brady, allegedly. He's chilling with the WNBA, dog. He ain't even tripping. Trevor Durant watching the Kings and Oilers game right now. Yeah, I need to watch that, man. Uh, Big Time Willie. Hey, what's up, son? Um, uh, uh, McDaniels had the Raiders logo upside down on anniversary game. It was horrible. Horrible dog. Bad look. Uh, booty bang shack spinning, spinning facts. That's what I do. Trouble Durant. Can't believe the Raiders are the Las Vegas Patriots. Port uh, Adelaide Raider. Talking to Justin Saw. Henry Newsom. Part of Raider Nation that's drunk the Kool Aid. Drunk the Kool Aid. Ate the poison cookies and shit. That's what they've done. Way too real. Can't celebrate these dudes winning. I'll come back when they gone. I understand. Trouble Durant. That's why I listen to Matthew Shack. He's real what he says. Hey, man, not everybody's a fan of me, bro. I, a lot of motherfuckers is mad. But I don't give a fuck, dog. Like I said, man, there's a lot of dicks for them to eat, bro. They they, they, they can go ahead and get started, okay? Port Adelaide Raider talking to way too real. Uh, Port Adelaide said uh, Richardson ain't even worth the top five pick. He's a Terrell Pryor. Yeah, but shit, everybody needs a quarterback, dog. And he's going to make money, bro, because he had a good combine. That's how it goes, man. Sometimes, sometimes you ain't shit and you have a good interview. Sometimes you don't deserve the job, but you killed the interview, bro. You just you killed the interview. You got along with everybody. You had common interests. They start asking you the stuff. It's like, hey man, uh, uh, so uh, so hey Johnny, you have any hobbies? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, I'm a scratch golfer. Really, I'm a scratch golfer. Where do you golf at? Oh man, I golf down over here at the uh, blah blah blah. Man, I've heard about that court. Blah blah. blah. How, how is it? Oh man, it's pretty good, man. But the whole nine. You just hit it off with motherfuckers. They're like, man, I like this dude. And the other person's like, you know, uh, you know, how do you enter? Oh man, you know, you know, um, you know, uh, my daughter, my, you know, I spend my time with my daughter. My daughter's in the uh, Girl Scouts. Really? I'm a Girl Scout leader. So sometimes you just fucking hit a home run because you hit it. So hey, that's what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Richardson had a good, good uh 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 combine and a good pro day. That's all it takes. Kyle said Jamarcus Russell 2.0, Adelaide Raider, uh, uh, Big Time Willie talking about Lamar Jackson, uh, Henry Newsom, Carlos Sanchez. Uh, I see all you guys. D. Bernie, Will Levis is sliding right now, too. Well, yeah, that's true. He is sliding. Uh, Adelaide Raider, Shaq, I'm a big supporter of JJ, but I don't be surprised if he gets traded. He definitely can, that can definitely happen. Uh, Trouble Duran uh, talking to Adelaide about something way too real. Um, uh, this ain't about the shield. It ain't about the shield to the front office. Mark is the absentee owner who just inherited the team. Zeigler and uh, McDaniel's changing the team and turning it into literal Patriot way. Let me give you an example of a uh, another uh, team that has the same type of nepotism ownership that's that ha has been going through some bullshit, but now they're playing well. One of my one of my boys called me yesterday, man. Uh, and he's a he's a Knicks fan. He's from the Bronx, bro. Lifetime Knicks fan and shit. He called me yesterday because he wanted to talk about the Knicks and shit and 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 all of that. James Dolan, who's the owner of the Knicks, was considered to be the worst owner in sports, professional team sports. OK, because nobody wants to play for the Knicks. OK, and nobody of any substance wants to play for the Knicks. That's why you never hear any free agents go to the Knicks. OK. But if anybody goes to the Knicks and wins a world title with the Knicks, it'll be the biggest championship probably in the last fucking 50 years. Because the Knicks, New York is the mecca of basketball. 
Madison Square Garden is the is the mecca of basketball. You win in the biggest city in the country that hasn't won since 1974. And you win a title for the Knicks is going to be bigger than anybody else's single title. OK, because they've been that sorry that long. Nobody went there. LeBron didn't go there. KD didn't go there. Nay, all these free agents, they didn't go. They didn't even go nowhere near that place. Kyrie didn't go there. OK, so what I'm saying is this. James Dolan is an asshole. He got his team because his father gave it to him as a Christmas present. Listen to what the fuck I'm telling you, dog. His father was the owner of the Rangers. The I think he owned the Rangers. He owned uh, uh, New York Rangers. He owned the New York Knicks and owned Madison, Madison Square Garden and owned a couple of other things for Christmas. He gave his son the New York Knicks. Here, son, Merry Christmas. Gave him the team, bro. Gave him Madison Square Garden. He owns all of that because his daddy gave it to him, bro. Okay? That's why he's an asshole. He's like, I don't got to do shit. Biggest cut. We got the biggest television deal. They got the biggest TV deal. He's got the biggest TV deal for hockey. He's got the biggest TV deal for um for for for, for basketball. As far as television in that market. Games are always sold out of Madison Square Garden. Don't matter. He's making money. Who's that sound like? Sounds like the owner that that that's the son of Al Davis that got the team left for him. OK, now with Mark, he had to get it out the mud because Al didn't leave him no motherfucking Death Star. He didn't leave him like James Dolan got left Madison Square Garden and given the team. He inherited the team upon Al's death and he had to take this team and take it to Vegas. I give Mark Davis all the props for that because that was a power move. That shit didn't was not easy to make that shit happen, especially when you don't got the money. But it's the same scenario, dog. The team is making money. I'm in a better market. I got a bomb ass stadium. Taylor Swift is fucking performing there. Fucking Aerosmith. Motherfucking uh, 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 Pro Bowl. Motherfucking Super Bowl. Shit, I don't got to do nothing. I go buy a WNBA team. Tom Brady wants to motherfucking save some money. He want to come to business with me and shit. I got Tom Brady. My WNBA team winning. I'm just going to go over there and kick it in the stands and let these dudes run the Raiders. I don't even. I just come and show up, dog, with a white jacket on and walk around and shit. That's it, dog. That's it. We win. Cool. We don't. Cool. I ain't won nothing in 40 years. Raider ain't won nothing in a long time, bro. He probably done forgot how it feels to win. He like, hey, man, as long as I'm winning at the bank. And I go to the bank and they're saying, hi, Mr. Davis. And they're motherfucking giving me a cold one. Whatever I want at the bank. I'm good. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, 911. Yep, Josh Jacobs and D. Adams need to, uh, next to be cut or traded. Dr. Van? No, Strand. What's up, Doc? Hey, Doc. Hey, man. I know you was rooting against my Lakers tonight, man. But shit, the Lakers came through and shit. Toby Durant. Okay. Uh, Dr. Van said they thought he retired. Amendola. Yeah, he did retire. He's coming back as a head coach. I mean, as a uh, assistant to um, the special teams. Way too real. Can't root for the Raiders. James Walker. P. Bernie. Hey, Doc. Tiny didn't look. That's right. Uh, Kylan. But don't call it Patriot West. Hey, don't do that, dog. Mm -mm. Mark Davis said, shame on you to call it Patriot West. Why is, how is it Patriot West? I don't see it. Just saying. Dr. Van, Wes Wilkers, way retired. What the fuck? Call up Drew Bledsoe and Teddy Bruschi. Shit, might as well. Might as well call up fucking Adrian Branch to be the wide receivers coach and shit. Man, let, let me not give them any ideas. They might be watching. Okay. Dr. Van, uh, Turbo, Lakers. Yeah, that was good. Uh, talking to Turb, Turb, Kylan, uh, uh, 911. We're hyped last year. Yes, sir. Adelaide, uh, a reboot isn't a one year process. Now it's a three year process. That's why he said three years. Guy, um, yeah, it was failed. Manny, uh, Bruce Salvador, what's up, big dog? Kyla says we missing the soundboard. Oh, you'll get the soundboard back, man. When when it's time, bro. Okay. Uh, uh, way too real. Trust the process. Came from Philadelphia. See how that worked out. Hey, man. Can't basketball and football is two different things. There's only thir there's only uh thirteen uh uh uh, tw uh twelve players on on a basketball team. Man, there's fifty three on a football team. Not as easy to rebuild. Our football team is a little easier to build. Look at what the Lakers did. Lakers got over the before after uh the All Star break. Before the All Star break, they traded uh uh um Westbrook and got all these pieces, and they were able to revamp their entire team in mid season, just like just like that, bro. Can't do that in football. D. Bernie, guy, Doc, over under games for McBozo this year. Shit, 
I don't even want to jinx myself, dog. Kylan said, Red Keep. Uh, uh, Turbo Duran. Rick, Rick Lavelle. What's up, Rick? I hear many Raider fans talking about Henning Hooker. I'm not sold on him. Many sleepers. Houston uh, Clayton Toon looks NFL ready. I still like Jaron Hall from BYU. And we'll see how it works, bro. We'll see how it works. I, I hope I hope that we draft somebody good, bro. Uh, Turbo Duran, big time Knicks. Talking about Bo Nix. Uh, Bo Nix. Um, Dr. Van. Talking to Turbo. Okay, Dr. Van. D. Bernie, like I said before, we need Sidney Potty, Bill, Pos Bill, Pos Bill Cosby to hypnotize McDaniels and show him how to coach. Yeah. Bootley Lee Farnsworth, D. Bernie. Bootley Lee Farnsworth, the shit, dog. I am invincible. See, me and D. Bernie laughing because you guys don't even know what the fuck we're talking about, though. Okay. Um, Raider Pod, what's up, Raider Pod? Shaq, these motherfuckers killing the mystique. They the Raiders never will be. They won't be Raiders, bro. The only way you, you be a Raider is you got to win, bro. Cocaine, Lakers in the sixth seed. We rolling. We gotta, we gotta win tomorrow, dog. We gotta win. We gotta win. Yeah, Angel Reese, thanks, Doc. You know I don't be remember people's names and shit. Okay. Uh, Turbo, Kylan, Carlson nearly broke the all-time record. Carlson is money. Raider Park, Zyga said Jacoby Myers and Bottas are Raider way. How the fuck would they know? Exactly. Uh, come on, dog. Um, Manny, what's going on, Manny? Uh, Dark Spring, they let the Jazz take an over team and won. Yeah, they almost fucked that up, man. Kylan, are we going to start 0-3 again? Shit, who said? I don't know. I hope not. Turbo said, just because Jimmy had a success in the MC side doesn't mean he'll do well over here. That's right. Turbo. Everybody, we all had love for Al. Al's my dog, bro. Al's my dog. Uh, yeah, you know what it is, Turb. Central Cali, what's going on, man? Where you at? Santa Marino Valley. I'm over here at Pismo Beach area. Yeah, man, I've been up that area, Pismo, man. Every time I drive past Pismo, man, I see motherfuckers out there, man, getting them clams and shit out there, dog. Did he flap, Lord? Oh, I ain't seen you in a while. Go Lions. Hey, dog, shit. Yo, Lions, man, you guys are just a couple of people away, man. You guys can get something done. Okay. Ja Raider, talking to Turbo. Uh, 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 looks like y'all going at it. Uh, 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 oh, oh, you guys are going at it? Oh, shit. Hey, man, hey, say, hey, handle your business, dog, shit. What's up, Lisa? Hey, me too. I watched the Super Bowl against my parents. 1980 was the best one because they got into a bar fight the night before. You already know what it is, Lisa. You a real one. Hey, son, what's wrong? What's wrong, son, son? What's wrong, baby? He's mad. What's he upset about? He's tired. Okay. Dallas Cowboy says, I'm 50. I remember when the Raiders was lit. You know what, dog? I remember when the Raiders was lit, too, and shit. That's the fucked up part. Lisa Blackman said, the Lakers had me nervous. Man, they were about to fuck that game up, dog. How do you give up 10 points in one minute, bro? That's just not playing defense at all, guy. Um, uh, Dallas Cowboy, my best coach was John Madden, Art Shell. Hey, man, I love them cats, man. Turbo Duran said, Talk, talking to Turbo. Hey, yeah, you guys, get, 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 it, get it in, dog. Do what you got to do, dog. Handle your business. Diddy Flap Lord. Or you're going to be gone by week six. It'll be the week six starter. Wouldn't doubt it. John Raider talking to you guys get it in. Hey, Lisa said it'll be disaster, but oh well. You know, uh, you got you got you guys handle it. Y'all, y'all can handle it. Raider Kush, what's going on, man? What's going on, Raider Kush? Chris Leonard. Hey, happy birthday, Chris. Hey, man, give my boy Chris Leonard uh, a happy birthday, man. He's he he is a member of the Unfiltered Nation and Unfiltered Fam. A guy who followed me from Facebook over here, man. Give, give, give him a Raider salute and a happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, big dog. Um, uh, Raider Kuss at NWA in the house, man. Jason Cerro said, Warriors. Hey, man, you guys, y'all stuck like Chuck, Warriors. You better find out what's going on with your boy Wiggins. Y'all need Wiggins right now. I mean, I know you guys are trying to make, uh, what's that boy name? The dude that got the, uh, he got the, how the hell, the white dude, the, the, the red hair, they got the fucking flat, they got the damn uh, Kovatis haircut and shit. He got the Caesar and shit. I'm like, man, why you cut your hair like you a nigga, dog? Like, like, like that shit don't even look good on you. De, De Lorenzo, what his name is? De Lorenzo ain't motherfucking Wiggins, bro. You better get Wiggins back, man. You have a problem. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Rip Easy E, yeah, man. Salute to Easy E, man. Uh, Raider Kush. Uh, Jason Sahir, what's going on, Jason, man? Hi, I'm good, dog. Appreciate you talking to y'all, man. NorCal Raider Jesse, man. You know what it is. Uh, NorCal, man. Just it. Uh, Dirty Low. Salute, man. You know what it is? Just sub the channel. Hit the like button. Thank you, Dirty Low. Hey, Dirty Low, you didn't make no mistake, dog. We, we, we're the anti other motherfuckers, dog. Like I said, if you if you impressed by motherfucking bells and whistles, that, that, that this we ain't for you, bro. But if you hear the motherfucking be right and be the motherfuckers that everybody mad at and shit, we're the motherfuckers that's walking in the club with the baddest bitches and shit. And, and no matter how bad your broad is, you still looking at our broad. That's us, man. God. 
Uh, Pat Lay Raider, Raider Kush. You know, Jason Sahir was going on all y'all, man. Dirty low up in this motherfucker. It's popping. Hey, man, love and salute to all you guys. Raider Kush, good you guys are chopping it up, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got to work the shit out, work our shit out, man. Hey, even if we got to, even if we got to argue, we got to do what we got to do. Digital prayers going on, salute. You know what it is. Hey, man, I need you guys to support this channel, man. Share the videos, man. Motherfucking comment. You know, just comment, man. The comments help the algorithm, dog. We got we got to get this shit cracking, bro. God, you know, what's going on, man? Way too real. Mark Davis doesn't see it. Mark Davis doesn't know anything about football. He make it clear he's not a football guy, bro. You know, that's what it is. He's not a football guy, unfortunately. Booty Bang, top top 10 best shooting guards of all time. Oh, man, that's going to be pretty easy. Number one, the, the GOAT himself, man. Michael Jordan, number two, Kobe Bryant, number three, uh, Dwayne Wade, number four, Clyde Drexler, okay? Number uh, num number five, Allen Iverson. Uh, number six, um, I'm going to put Clay Thompson in there, okay? Number seven, who can I put at number seven? That was a good two guard. Number seven, I'm going to put James Harden. We know what I might have to put James Harden over Clay Thompson. Number seven, James Clark. Number eight, Clay Thompson. Because a shooting job's job is to shoot. Number nine. Let me think. There's a bunch I'm thinking of, but I'm trying to see if they deserve that. Uh, let me see who else I can think of. Who I think shooting guard. If I want to give these guys props, I don't want to say the wrong guy. Let me think. So I'm on. I need two more. Who else do I like? Shit, some of them are slashes, man. I don't. I shit. I want to be a true, a true two guard. Uh, fuck, man. Let me think. Give me, give me a second, man. I'm trying to think of who, who else, could, who else deserves to be in the top ten. Jerry West, and number ten would be. Shooting guards, let me think. Uh, who else can I fucking say? I don't want to say somebody. I, you know, I could say anybody, but I'm not going to. Let me think. Uh, fuck, man. Penny Hardaway. There you go. Ready to Kush. Joseph Lillard said, uh, Hidden Hooker's that guy. That was a good question, dog. I, I, I was up uh, when I got the eight, I had to fucking think about it and shit. My Guerrero, uh, NorCal Raiders, salute to all you guys, man. I see all you guys on a dirty low, man. Hey, you take it about a trade in the first, man. We have to trade. Happy birthday to the homie. Um, Michael Weber said, uh, Lakers versus the Flippers tomorrow. Yeah, Dante De Lorenzo, De, De, La, De, De La Frenzio, whatever his damn name is, Lavenzio. Yeah, that dude, man. He's cool, but he ain't he ain't Wiggins. Wiggins started an All Star game this year. That's a that's not let's not fucking act like Wiggins is fucking chopped liver. Wiggins started for the West this year in the in the, in the All Star game. Okay. Uh yeah, man. I see all you guys on here, man. Lisa said Mark Davis don't care right now. He don't care about reputation and money. We're getting paid. West Side Media, man. Harden over Clay. Only reason why I'm saying Harden over Clay is because Harden is a shooting guard. Clay is Clay doesn't have to score to win. Harden has to score to win. See what I'm saying? Like, don't get caught up in the rings, bro. There's there's people who have more have less rings that are ranked higher than Clay Thompson. Allen Iverson has no rings. But how many scoring titles do you have? See, I'm glad we're talking basketball. Just to let you know. Here's why I put Harden over Clay. How many scoring titles has Clay Thompson have? None. How many scoring titles does James Harden have? He has about three or four. He has, I think he has two or three. Shooting guard. Okay? Not champion, player, great shooter. Now, if you said top ten shooters, Clay's going to probably be fourth or fifth. Maybe third. Third or fourth. He's definitely top five. Okay? But when you're talking about shooting guards, you're talking about somebody who's reliant on scoring. 
How many scoring titles? Everybody that I name has at least a scoring title. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan had 10 scoring titles. Kobe Bryant. I think Kobe Bryant led the NBA in scoring two times, two or three times. Dwayne Wade led the league in scoring one time. Okay? Go look it up see if I'm wrong. You got it. For, for a shooting guard, you have to fucking score. Clyde Drexler, the only reason why I'm putting him in there is because he was the third best shooting guard up until Dwayne Wade took that over. Okay? Then, you, then that's when I start talking about Iverson and I start talking about everybody has a scoring title, bro. Klay Thompson is probably the only person that I name that doesn't have a scoring title in out of those top 10 scoring guards. Even Jerry West one had a scoring title, bro. Like, come on, though. That's why. Okay? Westside Media. <laughs> Westside, uh, Turbo talking about Westside Media. That was pretty funny, bro. Uh, Westside Media says, you tweaking. I ain't tweaking, bro. I just told you, bro. I just told you why. Okay? You, it, 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 I see you got 5'10", so you, you, you know... If you if we don't do nut hugging over here, dog, you got to you got to lead with facts, bro. You you, you got to lead with facts. Clay Thompson is not a better two guard than James Harden, bro. He's not. OK, he, he's not, bro. Period. Sorry, man. I'm from the Bay. There's nothing you could tell me because you can look at the statistics and you can see Clay Thompson has never led the NBA in scoring ever. He never had to put the team on his back and score to win. He has a great team. He has the greatest shooter of all time. He has a he has a defensive player of the year in, D in Draymond Green. He has a uh, 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 a seven time seven time uh, uh, coach that's won uh, shit. How many championships does Steve Kerr got? Four four with the Warriors. Uh, three as a player. Shit. He has seven rings. Clay's job is to is to play. He's the best on ball defender. Don't fuck with me a basketball dog. I'll drag a motherfucker over some hoop. He's the best on-ball defender that has nothing to do with shooting guard. The question was shooting guards, bruh. That's what it was. He's not better than, 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 than James Harden when James Harden was on the fucking Rockets. Maybe now with James Harden looking like a shell of himself with Philly. But when he was with the Rockets, Klay Thompson wasn't a better shooting guard than him, bro. Not even close. Okay? Sorry. I said Jerry West. Uh, cocaine said Tracy McGrady. Yeah, Tracy McGrady could probably because Tracy McGrady. I'll switch that out. Tracy McGrady over uh over Penny Hardaway. Why? Because Tracy McGrady won a scoring title, bro. It's that simple. Pistol Pete scoring titles. You gotta have it. I can say Alex English scoring titles. It's shooting guard. I played shooting guard in college, bro. I played shooting guard in college. I never played guard in my life. I was always a three. I was always because. Our schools were small. We didn't have no big ass dudes. I was, I'm 6'2. So I was pretty much bigger than, than most of the guys I played against. When I got in college, they were like, okay, forwards over here, point, uh, uh, point guards over here, centers over here. I started walking to the forwards. My coach was like, where are you going, Shaq? I said, oh, I'm going to the forwards. I said, man, shit, you're 6'2. You better get over here with them fucking guards and shit. What the fuck are you doing? I'm like, coach, I ain't no guard. He said, you a guard on my team because you ain't big enough. Are you 6'6"? Six, six? Are you 6'8"? Look at who you're looking at. 6'6", 6'8", 6'5", 6'4 and a half. Your ass 6'2". Get your ass over there. I'm like, fuck, man. I'm not used to this shit. Until I got in the fucking game and realized with the shooting guard, I got the ball all the time. I'm like, fuck. I'm getting the ball. The point guard's bringing it up. You, the, 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 the center usually throws the ball in because he's last. Throws the ball in. The point guard's dribbling up the court. Don't fuck with me. I know basketball. Dribbling up the court. The first person he's passing it to when he gets into the, into the front court is me. I'm like, man, I get to touch the ball. I'm not calling for the ball in the post like this. I had post moves. Hey, they gave me. I'm like, shit, I got the ball. Man, if this motherfucker plays off of me, I'm just going to pop this three. I'm like, man, shit, I should have been playing guard the whole time. Your coach is like, you shoot. Oh, I get to shoot? Ah, shit. You're calling for it and you're double teamed and I'm open? I'm popping that. So that's what it is. If you don't got a scoring title, you are you know, you got to be Klay Thompson to be in the top 10 shooting guards and you don't got a scoring title. 
that's props alone. But you don't get to say he's better than James Harden because he's a he's a four time champion. Nah, dog. Mm -mm. James Harden was averaging 35, 36 a game. Come on, man. Get out of here, man. Don't do that, bro. Uh, so, yeah, that's what it is, dog. Yeah, Penny Gray was a point guard. But I said I said slash no way too real. Remember? See, you guys got to listen to what I'm saying. I said slashes, bro. Allen Iverson was a point guard, too, at one time when he first came into the league. Came a, became a two. Damian Lillard. You trying to tell me da Damian Lillard's not a two? He's a point. But guess what he is? He's a slash. Damian Lillard is, you don't score as a point guard. You don't score. Uh, what, what did he have this year? I think he had 65 or some shit. You don't score 65 as a point guard, bro. Point guards don't score 60 something in a game multiple times, bro. You score 60 times in the game. You like a Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson has scored 60 in games, bro. He's hit 13 threes. You got to be a shooting guard, bro. Allen Iverson, you got to be a He's He led the league in scoring four times. Okay? Like I said, everybody in my top 10 has, has led the league in scoring at least one time except Klay Thompson. He's the only one. And the reason why I'm giving him that is because he could fucking hit 60 and three quarters, bro. He gets hotter the fastest out of anybody. He gets hot faster than, than Steph does. Okay, that when that dude starts getting hot, there's nothing you can fucking do. Okay, you a step is running off of picks and 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 and, and running off of motherfucking pin down screens and running around. Clay ain't doing none of that. Clay's not running around, running or doing all. Oh, Reggie Miller, I could put Reggie Miller there, but Reggie Miller never won. Net Reggie Miller never won a scoring title. Clay's not doing that. Clay's not running down, pin down screens and running down and, and running around and, and he ain't doing none of that shit. That's Steph doing that. Clay's just like, when you run around and you pass the ball, they're going to double him. Give me the shot. I'm going to shoot the shit. How many times have you seen Clay just fucking just. He's facing the basket, bro. Nine times out of 10, Clay get the ball. He's facing the basket. He's not running anywhere. Okay. But I give him props for that because he's fucking could score 60 in three quarters, bro. But you haven't led the league in scoring. So you're not going to be higher than other people. How are you going to be higher than James Harden, who's led the league in scoring three times, bro? How, how are you going to be higher ranked higher? Because you're a Warrior fan and that's what you want? No, nah, that ain't going to work. God. Iceman Gervin. Fuck. Lisa, you right. I forgot about Iceman. I, I'm sorry. I, I might have to push Clay out now. I'm sorry. I, I forgot. I forgot about Iceman, bro. Yeah. Uh, Clay, Clay, Clay's not in the top 10 no more, bro. I'm really going to make you mad now. I forgot about Iceman Gervin, bro. Uh-uh. I mean, shit, Pistol Pete. Man, come on, dog. I mean, shit. Okay, man. Iceman Gervin, nah. Clay got to go now, bro. Clay out. Iceman, man, four times. Four times, bro. Okay? League, league scoring title. Four times. Nah, bro. Gotta go. Gotta go, though. Okay. Gervin wasn't a small forward, bro. Shooting guard. Okay. Booty bang with the $2. Okay. Clay is a shooting guard, but I, now that I heard Iceman, I can't put him over Iceman, bro. So I can't do it. Booty bang. So I'll give you an easy one. 10 best centers. In order or my preference? Because the order and my preference aren't the same. A lot of you guys will say all these other players and put Kareem like fucking seventh or fifth or some shit. Okay. But I'm just going to put it in my order and who I like. I'm going to put, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put Wilt one, Russell two, Shaq three, um, uh, Kareem four. Kareem got to be a top five. Really Kareem's top three. He, really Kareem is higher than that. I'm just putting it in my order. Uh, I, I, what did I say? Uh, Wilt, uh, Russell, uh, Shaq, um, Kareem, Olajuwon, um, uh, um, Ewing, um, wait a minute, let me back up. Moses Malone, Ewing, 
Um, who else do I like? So where am I at? Six. Um, who else do I like? David Robinson. Um, who else do I fucking like? Sinners. Mm, let me think. Mm, who am I forgetting? Uh, will Kareem be mm, boom? Uh, I'm kind of stuck now, dog. Kind of stuck. Let's see. Who else am I fucking forgetting, dog? Robert Parrish. Um, so that's eight. And who else can I pick? See, a lot of the motherfuckers are before my time, though, man. Shit. Nate Thurman played for the Warriors. I remember him when I was real, real small. And last who will I pick? Center, not somebody who 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 played who says they're not a center like Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, I mean, uh, uh Kevin Garnett was a fucking center, but he wanted to play uh he wanted to play uh uh uh, uh power forward. Who the last motherfucker can I come up with, dog? Hmm. All these other motherfuckers are sorry, dog. I could say Yao Ming, but that Yao Ming was okay. I mean, Yao, okay, Yao Ming, bro. I mean, come on, dog. I mean, come on, dog. Okay. Westside Media. Uh, Raider Process. Mama call him Clay. I'm going to call him Clay. That's his name. Lisa said Brandon Roy. Yeah, Brandon Roy was dope, but he got hurt. Uh, let's talk about the top who, uh, 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 what ifs in basketball, real quick, Lisa. The, the top what ifs. The top what if to me right now, if they didn't get hurt, to me, Grand Hill, bro. Grand Hill. Grand Hill. Penny Hardaway. Brandon Roy. Um, uh, who else was fucking injury prone like then a motherfucker, man? Greg Oden. Uh, Bill Walton. Bill Walton's probably number one. Bill Walton was, a lot of y'all motherfuckers look at the guy, he's on TV and shit, he's weird and shit. Bill Walton was a fucking monster when he was with, with the Trailblazers and he got hurt. He's probably number one. Uh, so you got those six. Who else fucking got hurt, man? And uh, and and they was a monster, man. Brandon Roy was a monster because he was the, he was a rookie of the year and he was one of the best young players. Uh, uh, what was his name, man? Uh, Allen Houston from the fucking Knicks. He he was he was a badass too, but he he got hurt. Him. Um, who else, man? Yeah, we talking basketball, man. We 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 gonna we gonna make it pop. Who else fucking was 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 injury prone like that? Who got hurt all the fucking time, dog? Steph Curry. Steph Curry was fucking having ankle problems for years, bro. Steph Curry was almost a almost a guy who you would have been said what if until he got his ankles together, bro. Um, but he was somebody who was always fucking his ankles were fucked up. Steph Curry's ankles were always hurt, and you see he still wears ankle braces, bro. He still wears ankle braces, um, but he's not on that list, obviously. Um, so that's pretty. That's a pretty good list right there as far as injuries. I think I seen like seven people, bro. Seven people. Dr. Van. Um, like I said, Westside Media is talking about rings. It says shooting guard, bro. Like I said, man, like sometimes you're just you, you, there's nothing wrong with being a fan, but sometimes you have to fucking be you have to be. You have to be motherfucking practical, bro. The question was shooting guards, not championships. Don't matter. Doesn't matter if Cardin didn't lead nobody nowhere. What matters is he led the league in scoring. Shooting guard, bro. Like, like I said, man, like, you know, some people, man, you know, they, they, they got their mind made up. And when you don't agree with them, they're going to fight for whoever it is they fighting for. But I think I proved my point already, bro. Okay. Okay. Clay don't have the skills. Hard got it all. Like I said, man. Cocaine, 
these, these, these Dub Nation fans, bro, I'm from the Bay. I'm related to all these dudes. These guys act like their players are the only players that can do anything ever. And that ain't the case. That ain't the case, man. Okay. James Harden in his prime, bro. All you got to do is look up the statistics and go look at the shit, bro. Come on. Come on, dog. James Harden was a monster. Clay wasn't doing that, bro. Clay wasn't doing what James was doing. James was putting a whole team on his back. Okay. You switch them to Clay wouldn't fucking carry the Rockets. Clay wouldn't carry a team by himself, bro. Wouldn't happen. Okay. Because he's not that type of player. Okay. Clay is a is a a a, a complementary player that plays within a system with other guys. And if you ignore him because you're focusing on other dudes, he's gonna gash you. I never see nobody fucking run a boxing one on Clay Thompson. Like, I never see nobody double Clay, bro. Not to say that he can't fucking ball out of a double team because he can. I'm just saying they never double Clay. They always leave Clay as the man that they're going to not let beat us. Okay. I'm if we're going to double Steph or, hey, you know what? We're going to motherfucking try to get the ball out of Wiggins' hands. Clay just fucking is just. He's always motherfucking open because they're always playing him one on one. And I don't understand that shit. Run a motherfucking double team on Clay, get the ball out of his hand, but then you got to deal with Steph. It's 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 fucked up. It's it's like what are you gonna do? You only got five people, okay? And two of the motherfuckers on the court, well actually three with Wiggins, two of those, three of those motherfuckers, you need more than one person. What are you gonna do? You're gonna pick the motherfucker that's gonna kill you the most if you don't fucking get him under control, and that's Steph. But Clay, Clay gonna make you pay for the shit, bro. But if you put him on a team where he has to carry a team, he's not going to be able to do what Harden did, dog. He's just not because he's not that kind of player. Nothing wrong with that, dog. Okay. Tubba Durant. Okay. Uh, Kerr had five. Yeah, he had five. And then he had four. So he has nine. Shit. I forgot, man. Shit. I don't know. Said, um, ha ha, y'all in the public chat making everyone's business. It is what it is. Cocaine Harden led the league in steals one season two. Like I said, bro. Cocaine, like I said, man, like. A lot of these guys, you know, it's like, I know you're a fan, bro, but over here we talk truth, man. We don't talk fandom. We don't talk who we like more. Even when I said the order of the centers that I picked wasn't the proper order. It was my preference. See how I said that? Because it's about the truth. I know for a fact Kareem Abdul-Jabbar should be ranked higher than just about every center, period. Even if you see Bill Russell, Bill Russell had 11 rings. Bill Russell was not an offensive player. It's a defensive player. OK, so you have to look at Kareem was the league leader up until a, a month or two ago. He was the lead leaguer in scoring for 36 fucking or 39 years, bro. 39 years. Why is he not one? So what I said, but my preference would be. This. That's how you do shit. You don't fucking just start saying shit because you like a motherfucker. Nah, the facts are going to show that, that I'm saying the right shit. James Harden is a top 10 fucking shooting guard. He's not a top 10 champion. He's not a top 10 uh, 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 player that uh, has won championships. That's not the question. The question was top 10 shooting guards, bro, whose job is to come in and be a scorer on the offense to be the first option. That's what a shooting guard is. My job is to shoot. Your job is to be the point guard. I'm the playmaker. You give me the ball, I'm going to fucking shoot. That's what it is. I forgot about George Gervin, bro. Can't can't put clay over George Gervin, bro. Can't do it. Okay. Elo, you guys are going in. I love it. Okay. Kerr has nine. All right, Henry. Shit, I don't know. Shit, he has a lot. Uh, Raider Kush. Uh, all right, man. Dunn WA is out. Much love, but for sure, duh. Uh, Larry Bird was better than all those cats. The same MJ and Kobe, but he wasn't a shooting guard. Now, if you want to talk about small forwards, you want to talk about small forwards? We can do that. We can talk about small forwards, bro. Greatest small forward of all time is LeBron James. I don't give a fuck if you like LeBron. I don't give a fuck if you, if you think LeBron, cry baby. I don't care if you guys, I don't give a fuck what you think. You got LeBron James is the, is the, is the best shooting, is the best three Three uh, 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 in, in, in the history of the league. Okay. He's number one in scoring. He's number five in assists. Man, come on, dog. He's led the league in scoring one time. Even LeBron James has led the league in scoring once. 
He's the best. Okay. Then after that, it's debatable. It's, it's a preference. I'm going to say my preference. That doesn't mean it's true. It's just my preference. LeBron's won. That's that's without question. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. He's the best, best small forward in the history of the NBA. Can't, you can't be the leading scorer of the fucking league as a forward, bro. You look at everybody on that list. Outside of Carl Malone, they're either center or fucking shooting guard, bro. Carl Malone was a power forward. He was a four. LeBron's a three. Led the league, led the league in scoring one time. He's first. Second to me, Dr. J. Even though statistics are not going to say that, but he's definitely in the top five. Larry Bird. Um, Kevin Durant is listed as a seven footer, bro, but he's not no fucking four. Kevin Durant is not a four. He's a three. Okay. You got to put him down as a three. You got him. Okay. You got Barkley. He was a three. Okay. He wasn't no four. He was a three. Uh, what, what other, what other forwards? Um, uh, what about some of these Laker forwards? Oh shit. I, I, man, I just remembered Elgin Baylor was a fucking shooting guard. Like, Man, it, let me just move on, bro. It's like, there's too many people, bro. Okay. Turbo Durant. All right. You guys going in. Turbo. Turbo going after everybody, man. Um, yeah, it looks like you guys going in, dog. That's that's, that's cracking, dog. Um, Lisa Blackman, four scoring titles, 79, 80, 81, and 82. There you go. Iceman, you right. I forgot about Iceman. You know what's funny, Lisa? You old enough to remember. David Thompson, too. Lisa, you remember when 1978, like I'm, I'm, we, we talking in terms these people ain't going to even know. 1978 score, scoring championship. David Thompson and, and George Iceman Gervin was, was going after the scoring title. David Thompson scored 73 points. Dr. Van, y'all know you know this because he was with the Nuggets. David Thompson scored 73 points the last game of the season to overtake George Iceman Gervin in the scoring race by a couple of percentage points. Okay? David Thompson scored 73 points the last game of the season to overtake George Iceman Gervin from the scoring title. George Gervin... That game they played, the Spurs played, was the last game of the regular season. George Gervin scored 63 to take the title back. Listen to what the fuck I said. David Thompson scored 73. And David and 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 and, and uh uh Iceman said. I want the scoring title. I got to score 61. He scored 63, the final game of the season, to take it back. And he only won the scoring title by like two, two percentage points. Like, like he averaged 29.6 and David Thompson averaged 29.4. So those last two games, those guys scored 130 points between both of them to win the scoring title. And you're trying to tell me he couldn't be on the list? Man, Iceman on that list, bro. And with no with no threes. Ain't that right, Lisa? No threes. There was no three-point line in 1978. They scored 73 and 63 points in no overtime, in regulation with no three-pointers. 73, David Thompson, 63. George Iceman Gervin with no three pointers. There ain't nothing to talk about, bro. These dudes ain't doing that. These dudes ain't hitting 60 and without no threes. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Not one per player on the list I name for the shooting guards outside of Michael Jordan, because Michael Jordan wasn't a three point shooter. Kobe was, and all these other motherfuckers was. Without a three point line, are we even talking about them being? 
in scoring titles and shit? No. Iceman scored 63 with no line. The most you can make with a field goal is two points. If you wanted three, you had to get fouled on an and one. Bad boys, boy. Bad boys. God. Lisa said Elijah won David Robinson. You right. Jokic. Hey, hey, hey. Jokic, man. Embiid, Embiid at 52 tonight. What are you talking about, Dr. Van? Embiid at 52 tonight. Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard should definitely be. Dwight Howard should definitely be in the Hall of Fame, bro. But he, he's getting railroaded, man, because of his personality. Wes Unseld was not a um was not a uh you talk Elvin Hayes. I forgot about Elvin Hayes. Salute to Elvin Hayes. I fucking forgot about Elvin Hayes. Elvin Hayes was the center for the bullets. Wes Unseld was the four. He wasn't the center. I said Bill Walton. Bill Walton was a monster. Motherfuckers don't people see him on TV, they don't understand. The foot injury fucked him up, man. Bill Walton was a monster, bro. Um, Tobin Rand, have you reported to your boss already? <laughs> That's a cold one, dog. Dwight, Dwight is in is not a top ten, but Dwight is definitely a Hall of Famer, bro. He should have been on the top seventy five team. He got railroaded. Yeah, West Unsell, West Unsell, uh, y'all was 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 was, uh, was not the center uh, of the uh, of the Washington Bullets. Okay. Alonzo Morning's not a top 10. Y'all mean was all right. Alonzo Morning was not top 10. Grant Hill. Yeah. Ben Wallace, not a top 10, but great. Ben Wallace was a monster. What if it's Lynn Bias? Not all time. Not in the NBA. Well, he, he is on the list, but I can't put him above people who actually played in the NBA and showed up. He never played an NBA game, but Lynn Bias was the truth. But I can't, I can't say what if, dog, with him. I can't put him higher than the people I named because the people that we saw what they could do in the pros. So I can't put him that high. Andrew Polamari Stoudemire. Yeah, but not higher than the people I named. Derrick Rose. Oh, yeah. Julius Morton. Julius Morton just hit a home run, a grand slam. Derrick Rose. I forgot about D Rose, bro. Without question. Without question. He's probably shit. I got to put him higher than shit i gotta put him at two bro grant hill to me man grant hill was phew. grant hill was shake scotty pippen bro go look at grant hill's top 10 plays man on on, on here on, on youtube and watch him fucking cross up scotty pippen bro man grant hill's first step going to his left he he's he's at the he's at the elbow. He's at, Grant Hill's at the left elbow with Scottie Pippen in his prime, guarding him one on one. Grant Hill crossed Scottie up so bad, went to the left, dunked on Scottie and slapped the board, bro. Grant Hill, bro. Him, fucking McGrady, <sighs> Derrick Rose. Never seen a. There's been no. Now that's a point guard. Okay, Derrick Rose, but Derrick Rose was also a fucking scorer. I never seen nobody as athletic as Derrick Rose. The closest person I see is John Morant. John Morant is close to Derrick Rose, but Derrick Rose was far more explosive than, than John Morant. As much as you guys don't understand, that dude won the, won the MVP. Tell me the last uh, point guard to win an MVP outside of uh, 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 um, Steve Nash, Maddie Johnson, name them. There ain't no point guards that's winning. That's winning MVPs of the league. And the ones that he got, he got them over Kobe and Shaq, and we all know that was bullshit. Derrick Rose won an MVP as a as a point guard. He was dunking on everybody, bro. I forgot about Derrick Rose, man. Uh, Turbo said Andrew Bynum. He's all right. Uh, Wallace was a monster. Stacey, Tracy McGrady, yep, T Mac. Okay, Abdul Raouf didn't get hurt, but he got canceled. Facts. Bobby Hurley was a monster, man. You know, um, a salute to to the Hurley family, man. Danny Hurley winning his uh winning for the family last night, man. That was great to see uh the Hurley family win that last night uh with the UConn and whatnot. 
Man, I remember when Bobby Hurley got into that accident when he was with the Kings, bro. Uh, he almost died in that accident, man. Leave, leaving the stadium, and he, all, he he got fucking hit. It went into the ravine. He wasn't the same after that, bro. Uh, Skew Raider says, Manigault, huge, uh, what court off the background? You talking, yeah, you talking about uh, Earl, Earl Manigault, Earl, 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 the GOAT Manigault. You talking about Pee Wee Reese, uh, not Pee Wee Reese, uh, Pee Wee Kirkland. Yeah, those guys, man, there's a bunch of dudes, that, you know, but you know, hey. Uh, we could say a bunch of those guys, but I'm talking about guys that actually played in the league. Jalen Rose played enough. You know, Jalen Rose was solid, man. Like I said, man, Jalen Rose, I think his his highest average was when he's with the Bulls. He averaged like 18. Jalen Rose averaged like 18.2 when he's with the Bulls. Jalen was balling. Guy. Okay. Lynn Bylas. He didn't get to put on his uniform. That's a what if. Yeah, he, he's on the list, bro, but I'm not going to put Glenn Bias higher than people who actually played in the league that we actually saw him play in the league. You know, trust me, man. Glenn Bias was a monster, dog. Glenn Bias used to give Michael Jordan work. OK, but can't put him over people that actually played in the league that had the potential. We saw what they can do and then it didn't happen. I just can't do it. My list might be different from your list. OK, Carlos Sanchez and Larry Johnson. LJ LJ got hurt when he was with the Knicks, but he was kind of a he 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 kind of kind of burnt himself out. Guy okay. Spreewell Spreewell did Spreewell didn't get hurt. Spreewell just he just he sabotaged himself with that PJ Carlissimo shit. He sabotaged himself, dog. Uh, booty band best players that never won a ring. Oh man, that's pretty easy, bro. Um, uh, uh, Elgin Baylor. Elgin Baylor is probably the best person, the best player to never win a ring. But people ain't going to say that because you guys don't know about Elgin Baylor. Elgin Baylor was before my time. But Elgin Baylor, the year that the uh, that the that the uh, Lakers went thirty three, won thirty three in a row, which is still a record, and they won. Um, and Jerry West went one and nine, and he won his championship. Elgin Baylor retired, um, like seven games into the season, so he didn't get a ring, bro. He should have got a ring, but he didn't. Elgin Baylor to me is probably the greatest, uh, uh, the greatest player to never win a ring, bro. You got him, Charles Barkley. A lot of you motherfuckers see Charles Barkley looking like the, like the Michelin Man on TV. Y'all don't understand. Chuck was a bad motherfucker, bro. Chuck Charles Barkley, top fifty player, bro. Charles Barkley is a monster. Okay, he didn't win. Iverson didn't win. Um, uh, who else can we name? Who who never won a fucking ring? That was that was great. Um, shit, Dominique Wilkins was great. He never won a ring. Um, that's four. Um, it's hard to be a great player and not win a ring, bro. It's really fucking hard to do that. Because everybody who was in the top 50 pretty much won a ring. Everybody that was on the top 50 team, all the Celtics guys, every one of those guys won a ring. All the Pistons guys that were on there, they all won a ring. All the Lakers guys that were in the, in the top 50, they all won a ring. Even Wilt Chamberlain won, won two. He won one with Philadelphia 76ers and he won that one that I just named that Elgin Baylor retired on. Elgin Baylor was the only person. Pistol Pete didn't win. He was in the top 50. Um, uh, what other players can I name? But if you look at all the people who were on the top 50 teams and on the top 75, top 75, they're still playing. But the top 50s, I just named them, you know. Um, Elgin Baylor, Charles Barkley. Dominique Wilkins, um, Allen Iverson, um, Tracy McGrady. Um, who else would be on that list? Can't say Gary Payton. Gary Payton won one. Gary Payton won one with the with the uh, with the Heat. He won with, with with the Heat. He's not. He he has a chip. Um, Dirk Nowitzki has a chip. I'm just trying to go through. Jason Kidd won a chip. Jason Kidd won one. Can't, can't say him. John Stockton, Carl Malone. There you go. Stockton and Malone, they didn't win. Um, who else? Patrick Ewan, he didn't win. Um, see, I'm starting to name them now. That's like seven or eight. Who else didn't win a ring that was great? Um, who else? Can I say that was great that didn't win a ring? Kind of hard to name people because just about everybody won a ring, bro. That that's that that is an all-time 
top 75 player, the majority of them won rings, bro. The majority of them did. So that's pretty good, I should say. Um, way too real. Wilt was just too nice. I wish he would have had the Shaq mentality. Yeah, it would have been all bad. Uh, Pistol Pete, Allen Iverson, LeBron, Larry, KD, or LeBron, KD, Larry. Yeah, Durant's getting too old. We'll find out. Chris Leonard, uh, Ledger's the best uh, in San Francisco history era. A lot. Stop talking to my guy. Uh, Tim Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan won a championship. Tim Duncan won four. Oscar, Oscar Robinson. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Oscar Robinson. Yeah, he's another shooting guard. Yeah, Clay got to go, bro. I got. I, I might have. To, I might have to put. Uh, shit. I may have to push out. Uh, shit. Somebody got to go out in the top ten. I have to push McGrady out then. I got to push McGrady out. Big O, man. Big O, bro. See, just got to push motherfuckers out. Say, sorry, ain't no talking now. Ain't no Clay no more. Clay gone. McGrady gone. That's a big O. And big O won a championship with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the Bucks. Okay. Turbo Durant said 73 points. No point. No way, Shaq. Really? D David Thompson. All you got to do is look it up. David Thompson, 1978 NBA scoring race. The last game, two games of the season. People understand, man. Iceman Gerwin was motherfucking was had this shit running away, and and he and David Thompson he had to score seventy three points to take the title. He scored seventy three with no three points, no three point line in the NBA. Three point line didn't come in until what the 80, 81 season, Lisa, eighty one season. No three point line. Scored seventy three. The last game of the season was the Spurs game. And all they had, they didn't have the internet. They didn't have any of that. All they had was the newspaper guys because the newspaper guys would get the scores from all the other newspaper guys. And they said they went to Iceman because Iceman thought he had it in the bag. It's like Ice. Uh, David just went, for, David uh, Thompson just went for 73. He's like, oh, okay, that's cool. He said, no, nah, you're not the scoring leader no more, bro. What do you mean? David Thompson is the scoring leader. You got to score at least 61 tonight. You know what Iceman said? Okay, I can do that. I can get that done. I can get that done. And guess what he did? He got it done. He scored 63. He needed to score 61. And he scored 63 with no three-pointers. Dude, that means you got to fucking fire it up and hit it. Man, go look it up, bro. Lisa Blackman said, yep, beat him by a half a percentage point. Told you. Like that. Alex English, Pippen, Wilkins, Irvin. Yeah. Iceman was shooting like he was in practice. Man, there's two things that that motherfucking uh, George Gervin could do. He could finger roll. George Gervin had the sweetest finger roll, but he got his finger roll from Dr. J, who got his finger roll from Connie Hawkins. But Iceman's finger roll was just nasty because he he was he was Kevin Durant, bro. You know how Kevin Durant, not Kevin Durant, looked like he been he, he's been smoking a little bit too much weed. Looked like he's gaining a lot of weight. But you remember when skin? You remember when Kevin Durant was with the, uh, not with not with OKC, but when he came into the league with the Supersonics, he was skinny like that. George Gervin was like that. George Gervin was fucking wiry, skinny as fuck, big ass hands, and and his ass would fucking finger roll. He could do that and shoot a bank. You you thought Tim Duncan could shoot banks? Ice Man could hit a bank shot anywhere on the court. Okay. Anywhere. Okay. Kissing it off the glass. You write about that. You know a lot about basketball. Bill Walton in the trailer 77 title. I was crying on that, dog. I was crying on that because I, I, I was Dr. J. I was Dr. J. Big time Dr. J guy. And Doc was Doc was averaging 30 and couldn't get it done, dog. Could have get it done against them trailblazers. Could have get it done, dog. Doc was killing them. But George McGinnis was fucking trying to shoot the ball and not pass it to Doc. And fucking blew it. Lynn Bias was bad. I remember that Lynn Bias shit, bro. There's a couple of things. These people talking about Lynn Bias. If you're going to put Lynn Bias on the list, then you got to put um, Hank Gathers on there. Hank Gathers is on that tragedy list. Let's talk about the tragedy list real quick. I'm glad we're talking about ba basketball just to show the diversity and how much knowledge we got for all these people that may be watching, not understanding that our knowledge goes way past football. Way past football. Lynn Bias is the biggest basketball tragedy 
But then again, there was a guy before him by the name of Maurice Stokes in the early 19, what, late 1950s, early 60s. There was a guy by the name of Maurice Stokes who might have even been worse than Lynn Bias. Maurice Stokes was the NBA Rookie of the Year. Go look it up, man. This is all. Do you see any notes in front of me? You see any computers and shit? This is all in here, bro. Maurice Stokes, he was the first pick of the NBA draft. I think he played for the Cincinnati Royals. The Cincinnati Royals is now what you guys know as the Sacramento Kings. Okay. He got drafted by the Cincinnati Royals. He played, I think it was Cincinnati Royals, and he played with Oscar Robinson, who got drafted by the Cincinnati Royals, and Jerry Lucas. How do I know this? Because I, I know everything. And he was the rookie of the year. N NBA rookie of the year, 22 years old. And he had he, he had some kind of degenerative disease. And within two years, he was uh, incapacitated. Like his he had some kind of disease. I don't know what it was. I don't want to say what it is and it not be it. But it was a disease that was a degenerate, degenerative disease. And by the time he was 24 or five years old, he was incapacitated. He couldn't move his body. He couldn't do any of that, dog. He was sipping through a straw and he died. He wasn't even 30 years old, bro. I think he died when he was 26. This was a guy. Big, he was a center. He was big. He was powerful. He led the NBA in rebounding or so, scoring or something, but he was the NBA rookie of the year. And by the next year, he started having problems with his movements. He couldn't, his leg wouldn't work. Then this stuff started happening. That's, that is worse than Lynn Bias as far as, in, as far as NBA. But as far as potential, Lynn Bias is the worst. You got him. You got Maurice Lucas. You got Hank Gathers, who's right over here in L.A., down over there at LMU, at Loyola Marymount with Bo Kimball and shit. When he, when he died, Hank Gathers was leading the NCAA in scoring, bro. Because at that time, uh, LMU over here was a, was a D1 school. They're not a D1 school anymore. They're like a D3 or some shit. But back then, they were a D1. Hank Gathers was leading the entire nation in scoring. Died right on the court, bro, at practice. Don't forget about Reggie Lewis. Reggie Lewis that played for the Celtics. Okay? Reggie Lewis. Reggie Lewis was a bad boy. If Hank, if, if, if uh, Lynn Bias would have been alive, the Celtics probably would have had like, like 22 or 23 titles because they would have had Larry Bird. They would have had the Chief. They would have had McHale. They would have had Lynn Bias. And they would have had Reggie Lewis, bro. They would have had Dennis Johnson. They, I mean, I could just go on and on. They, they had motherfucking Bill Walton was coming off the bench. They, 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 was off the, they had Danny Ainge. They would have balled, bro. The Celtics lost two big-time potential Hall of Fame players with Lynn Bias dying before he even, the next day after he got drafted, after that cocaine shit, and Reggie Lewis. Reggie Lewis was a bad boy, dog. Reggie Lewis was a monster, okay? So you got that. Uh, what else on here? D-Rose, yeah. Did, uh, Grant Hill took off on pitting on the dribble. Yeah, you saw that, Lisa. Grant was gone. And you know what was funny about that, Lisa? Grant Hill let him get set in his defensive position. He Grant Hill was like, get, get, go ahead, dog. Get in your get are you, are you in your stance, Scotty? Scotty, without question, one of the greatest defenders in the history of basketball. Scotty Pippen should have won at least two or three defensive player of the year awards, dog. He was always taking the best guy. He was always taking, taking the pressure off of Jordan so Jordan could score. Okay? Even though Jordan has a defensive player of the year, Scottie Pippen deserved a couple of those. But Grand Hill let him get set. Grand Hill's like, okay, you set? Dribble, crossover, left to right, went left, two-step, yeah! Slap the board, dog. I'm like, shit. Okay. Lisa uh, uh, says that John Moran is dope. He is. He just had a badass dunk the other night. Um... 
Cocaine Curry got unanimous MVP, but didn't get his. Like Derrick Rose got his. Hey man, Curry should not. Curry got uh, got the first unanimous MVP, but Shaq should have got it first. Shaq Shaq got robbed by this guy named Fred Hickman. Fred Hickman was just trying to hate on Shaq. Shaq should have been a unanimous MVP when he won his MVP though. He was one vote away, and if Fred Hickman voted for who did he vote for? I think he voted for somebody. Dominique Wilkins or somebody who wasn't even, he just did it just to do it. Um, Lisa said, Bobby Hurley, lucky to be alive. Jalen Rose was solid. Big, big Wallace. Yeah, I'm seeing all you guys say. Barkley, top three, best players, never won a ring. Motherfuckers see Charles Barkley, they see Krispy Kreme donut eating ass nigga. Charles Barkley was the truth, bro. Tar Charles Barkley was a fucking monster, bro. Charles Barkley was a problem. Big problem. Huge problem. Okay. Barkley, Barkley would dunk on your motherfucking ass, man. Even in traffic, he would dunk. The first time, I only seen Charles Barkley play live one time, dog. It was a preseason game, Philly versus the Golden State Warriors in the old stadium. Right there across from the Raider, right across from the Oakland Alameda County Stadium. Shit, I don't even know what it was called before it was called the Oracle. It was just called the, called where the, you know, the Coliseum, I mean, called the Arena shit. And... It was a preseason game. It was Barkley's rookie year. Okay. Dr. J was playing. That was my boy. I got to see Doc. And Charles Barkley, bro, in a preseason game, dog. God is my witness. If I ever see Chuck, I'm going I'm I'm to tell him about this. Charles Barkley was a rookie. This is when his ass was like 265. When G was the round mound of rebound. This motherfucker was fat. Barkley was fat and out of shape. OK, but he had like a 40 something inch vertical and shit and six, four and a half jump out the gym. Charles Barkley took the ball off the rebound, carry him off the rebound, went coast to coast. OK, that motherfucker could move. Charles Barkley went post coast to coast, did one of his patented tomahawk dunks two handed. When he was done, they stopped the game because he had bent the rim. Charles Barkley bent the fucking rim in Oakland in a preseason game. Breakaway rims. He bent it. So what they did was, I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but they'll come out on the court with a 10 foot ruler. And they'll put it on the floor and it has a hook on it. And, and, and it needs to be exactly 10 feet from the top of the rim to the court. When 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 they measured it, they did a timeout and TV time. When they measured it, the rim was it was like this low. This low. They had to stop the game for 25 minutes to change the rim. God is my witness. I was there. The game was paused for 25 minutes because they had to motherfucking change the fucking rim because charles barkley dunked that shit so hard that they were like nah you can't have it, it has to bend 10 feet for they won't no other team get an advantage that's how much of a bad of a boy barkley was bro as a rookie i'm like fuck i've never seen that in my life but i did that night cocaine yeah but chuck could go up and guard that guard like a guard yes he could carmelo was a beast never won a ring he was a beast um sean kemp was a beast um, Rain Man was a beast. Yeah, they were. But I, I think my list is cool. Miller won a national championship as a freshman. He did. Okay. Uh, Vince Carter. Vince Carter, he's on the list. He's on the list. I wouldn't put him high to some of these other guys, but he's on the list. Uh, Turbo Duran, you can catch me live when Matt Shack goes live. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, Bernard, Bernard King. Oh, my God. Lisa. They don't even understand. Bernard King, bro. Bernard, shit. Hey, man, Clay, 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 Clay's, at, Clay's top 20 now. Like, there's too many dudes, man. Motherfuckers don't even understand Bernard King. Uh, Lisa, one of my boys, man, my boy is, um, one of my, one of my boys is uh, Eddie Murphy's cousin, dog. He, you know, he works for Eddie. He's his, he's his first cousin, dog. He's a Murphy. And um, he grew up with Albert King. 
who's Bernard King's little brother. Remember Albert King that played for the uh, that played for the Nets for a little bit. Um, uh, he grew up with him, dog. And he used to tell me Bernard King stories when Bernard King was the king of New York, bro. Now, what's interesting about Bernard King is that Bernard King was drafted by the Warriors. OK, so Bernard King started in the Bay. But when he was with the Warriors, he wasn't he wasn't doing all the shit that he was doing later because he had to share the ball. He had to share the ball. He wasn't able to do all the shit that he was going to lay down, man. He 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 wasn't able to do all the shit that he that he did later on. He had to share the ball because they had Joe Barry Carroll and they had um, who else did they had? They had uh, um, uh, when he was there, they had him. They had Maul Wilkes before he went to the uh, before he went to the Lakers. Um, you know, they, they had a bunch of dudes, man. Uh, and he, he just didn't, uh, even, uh, the chief Robert Parrish started out as a warrior. Like a lot of these motherfuckers don't know these guys were warriors first. Okay. And went to other teams and won championships, but Bernard King was a warrior. Then he got traded and he went to the Nets for a while. And then when he went to the Knicks, Bernard King was unguardable, bro. Bernard King. I remember that game when he had like. Three or four 50 game points in a row with no three point line. Remember Lisa? Lisa from my era. Scoring 53 consecutive games with no three point line. None of these guys are doing that, dog. They're not doing that. Without the three pointer, Damian Lillard's not hitting 60. Clay's not hitting 60. Uh, Steph's not hitting 60. They're not hitting 60 just going two point shots. It's not happening. Bernard King was a bad motherfucker, dog. Robinson. You said Robinson was a one, not a two. No. Slash. He was a slash, bro. He he became more of a one when he played with Kareem. But when he was with the with the uh with the uh the Royals and he was playing with them, he was more of a two. Okay. James Walker, Walt Frazier, Earl the Pearl Monroe. Earl the Pearl, man. Earl the Pearl was a bad boy too. Um Walt Frazier, Earl the Pearl Monroe. But Walt 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 was a Walt was a point and 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 Pearl was a two. But Pearl did all his big time scoring when he was with the Baltimore Bullets. When he was with the Baltimore Bullets before they moved to Washington, Pearl Pearl was acting a fool, dog. Okay. Lisa said 81. Yes. Uh, Turbo talking about uh, them right now. Shaq Robinson had an amazing scoring title, too. Came down to the. Yes, I remember that. I remember that. David Robinson scored 71. How do I know all this, dog? We're talking basketball like a motherfucker. We need basketball people over here. Take basketball homies to bring their asses over here. David Robinson. Shaq had the scoring title, and David Robinson scored 71 to take it from Shaq. And Shaq hates David Robinson to this day for that, dog. But, hey, David Robinson didn't want Shaq to have it, dog. He didn't want Shaq to have it. He scored 71. That's facts. That's actual fact, man. Uh, talking to Dr. Van, Lisa, yes, Connie Hawkins, Willis Reed, yes, yeah, salute to Willis Reed, he just died. Um, skinny like Jamal Wilkes, Silk, yes, yeah, Silk, man, Silk, Silk played for the Warriors first before he got traded to the Lakers. Um, a lot of good memories, bro. Michael Red, yeah, Michael Red, you talk about Michael Red, you mean, yeah, ex Bucks player. Michael Red, what I liked about Michael Red, he was a lefty. Michael Red was a lefty, man. He he was a monster for a few years, dog. Um, uh, he was a he was a high scoring guard. I don't think he he don't he didn't lead the league in scoring though, but he was a very a very pr proficient scorer for a few years. So, um, uh, Chris led. Whoa, whoa, my sons are seven and zero since KD. Yes, yeah, 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 dog. I already know, dog. I, I'm not feeling that shit. Um, since I read a Hank Gathers forty four. Yep, Drazen Petrovic. Oh my God, Drazen Petrovic. He's on the list, bro. He's he's top five, dog. That hurt me, dog. Salute to Drazen Petrovic, man. Damn, man, he got decapitated in his car accident, man, on the on an autobahn. Man, Drazen Petrovic used to talk so much shit to Jordan. He wasn't scared of Mike at all, bro. He's talking shit to Jordan, dog. He's talking shit. He's on the damn nets with him. Uh, um, um, uh, Coleman, Kenny Anderson, um, Derek Coleman, Kenny Anderson, Drazen Petrovic. <sighs> Petrovic was just smooth, bro. Smooth fucking jumper. 
smooth game, smooth three pointers, moved well without the ball, and was and, and was a trash talker would talk shit. You talk a shit. He was not scared of Mike at all, man. Mike tried to intimidate him. Like, man, I ain't worried about you, man. You need to be worried about me. Drazen Petrovic was a monster, bro. He's definitely, oh, man. He goes he goes on the what could be list and and the, you know, the most, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the tragedy list, bro. Damn, Drazen Petrovic, man. Yeah, it was like Lou Gehrig's disease, you're right. Died on the court, he had heart problems. Yeah, Lev been lying, set the Celtics back big time. Yes, it did. Trevor Duran, you think my Lakers and Clippers tomorrow? Hey, we're going to see him, man. We need to win that shit. Barkley had a 33-rebound game. See, they don't understand that, dog. All they see is a fat dude that looked like his, looked like they uncle or some shit. They don't understand. Barkley was a motherfucking monster, bro. Even though Jordan and Barkley don't ain't friends no more, fucking Jordan, I tell you, Barkley was a monster. If Barkley would have just motherfucking had discipline, he would have been even greater. You know? He didn't have no discipline, man. Chuck was... He's out there just using his natural abilities, man. He, he, you know, he he didn't he didn't like really improve his game when he started getting hurt. He didn't really wasn't able to really do what he needed to do. But shit, Barkley was a fucking monster. Um, yeah, yeah Daryl Dunk Dawkins, man, salute to Daryl Dawkins, man. Kyle says, Shaq, best movie you've seen recently? John Wick, number motherfucking uh, four. Like a motherfucker, dog. Like a motherfucker. I still have not been in a motherfucking movie theater since the pandemic, dog. My wife's been, but I ain't been, man. Shit. We went to the drive-in to see that shit. That motherfucking John Wick, dog. That John Wick, dog. That John Wick's the shit. That, I got a, if you ain't seen it by now, you a dumbass. John Wick, that motherfucker was worth the fucking price of admission, dog. He was worth it, man. That shit was good. That was good. I, that, they need to keep it going. Fuck it. If Fast and Furious can go to 10 and because now, now Fast and Furious, they in space doing all kinds of stupid shit now. If you can do all of that, man, they need to keep these wicks keep going, man. Fuck all of that. That John Wick, nigga. That's my shit. I love John Wick, man. That motherfucker. That shit right there, man. That might be the best action franchise out of anything. I'm talking about franchise, not just one movie. I mean, franchise as far as action. Okay. Because motherfuckers is getting killed, bro. Like you get you you seeing some blood and some death death motherfuckers. People dying in that shit. Straight up. Okay. Uh Lee said Bernard King had that post game. Man, my boy used to tell me stories about Bernard King, man. Man, Bernard was a dude that humiliates you, dog. He, he would fucking humiliate you, man. He didn't talk. He wasn't a talker, bro. He wasn't a trash talker. He was just a dude who you couldn't fucking stop him. He had so many moves. He had a counter for everything. He had a counter for everything. Offensively. Defensively, he wasn't, he wasn't doing shit. Offensively, he had a fucking move for everything, bro. He had a spin move. He could spin to his left. He could spin to his right. He could fucking t shoot, turn around on each... Each uh, way to shoot a fadeaway. His ass could fucking pump fake. His ass had a post game. He had post moves. He fucking was uh, uh, lethal from his mid range game was lethal. Uh, like there was no threes and shit. Uh, uh, mid range game was lethal. Uh, his 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 motherfucking handle was lethal. His, his, all that shit. He was a scorer. When you say a scorer, and that's all you are, that was Bernard King, man. That was Bernard King. He was killing everybody. He was destroying everybody, bro. He was he was definitely doing that. And you had to take him. It was all bad. Okay. Uh, Shaq said, "Why you ain't feeling it? Tell the world feeling what? Which one am I talking about, though? I can't remember which, what I said." Um, BK, uh, uh, Kiss Fred, Booker. Uh, oh, I ain't feeling it. Oh, I'm gonna tell you why. Because KD, bro. Oh, you're talking about your sons. I ain't feeling it because KD. That's why Kevin Durant. That's why I'm not feeling it. But you still got to play the game, though. Okay. Uh, Kylan got that Pat Brosnan Petrovic rookie card, NBA hoops. I got that too. That bad boy, Brosnan Petrovic, bro. Damn, he was so good, man. 
Dr. Ben said, anyone say Ray Allen or Reggie Miller? I said Reggie Miller. I didn't say Ray Allen, even though he was a shooting guard. But my 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 parameters is you have to be somebody to win scoring. Type. Too many people that led the league in scoring as shooting guards that should be on the list. It's shooting guard. Okay. If you had to lead the league in scoring, really, to be on my list, man. Everybody that I named has led the league in scoring. We had the top 10. Everybody was a scoring leader. Your job is to shoot. Shooting guard. That's what it means. Shoot. Score. Be an, be, be a, a, a weapon on offense. I named them. Jordan led the league in scoring 10 times. Kobe led the league in scoring two times. Wade led the league in scoring one time. Iverson led the league in scoring four times. Um, Iceman Gurdon led the league in scoring four times. James Harden led the league in scoring fucking three times. Um, uh, um, see, even though Oscar, I don't know if Oscar Robinson, I think Oscar Robinson did lead the league in scoring once or twice, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But he should still be on the fucking list as far as shooting guards, even though he played point later in his career. Okay. And I was just naming them off. Okay. Uh, Tracy McGrady led the league in scoring once. Okay. Um, 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 Alex Angels led the league in scoring like four times. Like, if you're a score, if you're a shooting guard, you got to score. You got to score, bro. So even though Clay Thompson is a shooting guard and he deserves to be on the list because of his shooting prowess, he didn't lead the league in scoring, bro. He didn't lead the sco league in scoring one time. Everybody that we named has been a scoring leader as a shooting guard. Meaning that you were putting the ball in the basket because you had to for your team. And as much as people want to try to say, why would I? I'm tripping and I'm tweaking. I ain't tweaking. I'm telling the, I'm telling the facts. OK. Reggie Miller, fast lever. Yeah, fat lever was a bad boy. Lafayette lever. Dr. Van Lafayette. <laughs> no, what did they call that nigga fat? Lafayette lever, dog. Him, Daryl Griffith, he, Daryl, Daryl, Dr. Duncanstein. There's a bunch of dudes. The can be tumble, Dan Issel. Yeah, Dan Issel was a bad boy in the ABA. Um, you're not feeling KD because he's a threat to y'all soft Lakers. That's okay, man. I mean, we're not soft. We, hey, I'm telling you this shit right now, Chris. You, you, you know damn, you know damn well you got Mr. Glass as a point guard. You know that, right? Matter of fact, both of your best players are Mr. Glass. OK, Chris, Chris Paul, anytime the playoffs come, that's when he turns. That's when he turns into uh, 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 an aluminum can. And then, you know, KD, how do you get hurt in a layup line? Though? How do you get hurt fucking uh, in a layup drill, bro? Come on, dog. Come on, dog. We ain't worried about y'all that much. I'm worried about KD. I'm not really worried about you guys. God. At least the NBA in the 80s was lit. There was Tiny Archibald, Nate and Andy kept it, kept it gangster. Yes, they did. Hey, 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 Lisa, you remember when uh, Danny Ainge got into a fight with Tree Rollins from the Atlanta Hawks and and and, and uh, Danny Ainge bit his finger? <laughs> Tree Rollins had to get a tetanus shot. That's how it was in the 80s, man. The, the way these guys play now, man, is straight finesse. 80s, hard fouls. We did, they, there wasn't no flagrant foul. OK, the basketball that me and my girl Lisa, Lisa watched. There wasn't no flagrant fouls. Flagrant fouls came into existence in 90, what, 92, 93 season. They made the flagrant foul to help Jordan. Before then, there was no such thing as a flagrant one and a flagrant two. There wasn't any of that. It was a foul and that was it. OK. Dirk Nowinski, Oscar Robinson averaged a triple double. Hey, Russell Westbrook. World be free. It's a bunch of them. So people overlook Booker. Booker, Booker, Booker is not in a top ten. Best scoring guard, a uh, best shooting guard. He might. He's a he's a top ten shooting guard in the NBA today, but he's not a top ten shooting guard of all time. Okay, Lisa said, "Yep, Tree Rollins." Said, "Oh, Shaq, I want to know your opinion on Big Guy Ben Wallace." Ben Wallace was a, was a monster, but Ben Wallace was a defensive guy. Ben Wallace was a defensive dude who did not score on offense he was a defensive player he was a bad boy okay um but did he shut down Shaq when they played against him no if you remember the interview that Shaq and Kobe had before Kobe died when they made up 
Go watch. Go back and watch that. Um, I saw a clip of it today when Shaq and Kobe sat down at the Lakers facility and they probably they finally sat down and they made up. Thank God that happened based on what happened later. But they talked about that 2004 um, Pistons and how Kobe said it was his fault. Because remember, you remember when, the, when, when when we had uh, we had Shaq, Kobe, Gary Payton and Carl Malone. All first ballot Hall of Famers on that on that offense, and the the Pistons had Ben Wallace, uh, uh, Taysan Prince, uh, uh, Chauncey Billups, Rip Hamilton. Damn, they had nobody with no name recognition. Beat the shit out of the Lakers, bro, because Kobe said he didn't do what he needed to do to involve Gary. And involved Carl Malone in the offense, and he wasn't getting Shaq the ball. And he said that shit was bothered him until you know bothered him every day that he was out there trying to be the be the MVP and not trying to you know trying to be the, the guy to win it by himself. And he didn't include everybody. Shaq he he admitted that. And Shaq was like, "Come on," he's like, you, you, "He's like, yeah, Kobe, I had Ben Wallace on me all game, dog. Come on, bro." He's like, "Yeah." Even though Ben Wallace was a beast, Ben Wallace couldn't hold Shaq in the post. Nobody could. A prime Shaq? They should have won that. E. Kobe said, we should have won it. And Shaq said, yeah, we should have won that in four games. And Kobe said, yeah, that was my fault, big dog. I, 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 I was being selfish about it. So even though Ben Wallace is a bad boy, he's not on that top list. Coke Shan's going to bring the goat mask out tomorrow. That's what he does. Skip. Um, Chris Little says, no, no, not today, brother. Keep that same energy if you guys lose. All shorty squad. Muggsy, Muggsy said, Muggsy, Bogues, Spud, Webb, Prince. Shit, there's other guys that are that, that, are that short too. Um, who, who, who else was short like that, man? Fucking played. Muggsy. Um, Muggsy, Spud, and who else was that short like that? Cal Calvin Murphy that played for the uh played for the Rockets in the late 60s. Calvin Murphy was like 5'8. He's in the Hall of Fame. Tiny Archibald. He was listed at six foot, wasn't six foot. Tiny Archibald was like 5'10. Allen Iverson, listed at six foot, wasn't six foot. Iverson's about 5'10. Okay. Chauncey Billups, Gilbert Arena, Sean Marion, Richard uh, Rashid Wallace, Chauncey Billups posted Kobe up. Sure did. Sure did. Kobe said that it, he took the blame for that loss, bro. They should have won that. Said Kobe threw that the, the short series away. One game he wouldn't pass, and the next game he wouldn't shoot. Correct. You know your shit? Kobe admitted it to Shaq when they sat down. That was my fault. I didn't do what I needed to do. He was mad at Phil Jackson the whole fucking time, dog. It's like. Jermaine O'Neal, Rashard Lewis. Yeah, I'm sure I like Rashard Lewis, dog. Dominique Wilkins, Spud Webb won the dunk contest. Shaq, nobody could hold Shaq, but no one was fun. When they're saying with no, no, no Matumbo. Hey, man, when when Matumbo, when when Philly played the Lakers and Matumbo was the center, man, Shaq was motherfucking bully balling that dude, dog. He would just turn around dunking on his ass, and that's what he was doing. Fucking him up. Isaiah Thomas and Nate Robinson. And that's what it is. All right, man. Love all y'all out there, man. I'm gonna go ahead and Get me, get me a little, little, little nightcap. Watch some TV for a little bit. Take my ass to bed. Good talking to y'all, man. It's glad we talked a lot of basketball. Matthew Shack unfiltered. We're not a Raider channel, man. We talk everything. We talk by each subject whenever we want to. We can. We, that's the beauty of us. We don't have to stick on the subject, bro. We can move around and talk about other shit, and we know what we're talking about. All right, man. Y'all have a good night. Love all y'all out there, man. Matthew Shack unfiltered. <laughs>